Bitcoin is $274. Antiwar.com reports Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says his government is studying with Jordanian diplomats the possibility of again submitting the statehood resolution, which failed to pass last week, for a new vote. Abbas insisted, we did not fail, the UN Security Council failed us, saying he might go for a third or even a fourth vote on the resolution, which calls for an end to the Israeli occupation by 2017. The vote last Tuesday was 8-2 to two in favor, one short of the nine votes needed. Five nations abstained, with Nigeria by far the most likely to vote in favor of Palestinian statehood. Even if a future version of the resolution does pass, it is likely the U.S. will veto it as they did Tuesday. Israel has lobbied heavily for vetoes, and Secretary of State John Kerry reportedly threatened to sanction the Palestinians for even submitting the resolution the first time. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports Afghan President Ashraf Ghani said in an interview broadcast on Sunday that the United States might want to re-examine the timetable for removing the remaining U.S.-led coalition troops in the country by the end of 2016. Ghani told the CBS program 60 Minutes when asked about the issue, deadlines concentrate the mind, but deadlines should not be dogmas. If both parties, or in this case multiple partners, have done their best to achieve the objectives and progress is very real, then there should be willingness to re-examine a deadline. When asked if he had told that to President Barack Obama, Ghani said, President Obama knows me. We don't need to tell each other. The White House National Security Council, the State Department, and Pentagon had no immediate comment. Afghanistan assumed full responsibility on Thursday for security from departing foreign combat troops in a test of the readiness of 350,000 Afghan forces who will bear responsibility for fighting Taliban insurgents. The U.S.-led coalition troops formally ended their combat mission more than 13 years after the Taliban government was toppled in late 2001 for sheltering the planners of the September 11, 2001 attacks. About 13,000 foreign troops, mostly Americans, will remain in the country under a two-year mission named Resolute Support to train Afghan troops. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports North Korea condemned a new set of UN sanctions Sunday, calling them hostile and inflammatory. The state-run Korean Central News Agency quoted an Interior Ministry spokesman for the country who said tightened sanctions announced Friday by President Barack Obama were based on a pre-existing adversarial attitude towards the communist nation saying, the policy persistently pursued by the U.S. to stifle the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, groundlessly stirring up bad blood towards it, would only harden its will and resolution to defend the sovereignty of the country. The persistent and unilateral action taken by the White House to slap sanctions against the DPRK patently proves that it is still not away from inveterate repugnancy and hostility towards the DPRK. The new sanctions are in response to the hack on Sony, which North Korea had previously praised but denied any involvement with. The breach exposed emails from company leaders and resulted in a brief cancellation of the movie The Interview. North Korea offered to conduct a joint investigation into the incident, but the U.S. refused. Obama called North Korea's actions provocative, destabilizing, and repressive, and a threat to national security. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. We have a breaking news blast on the tragic situation happening across the country in which more than 40,000 Americans have been trapped in a Confessions Animal Hoarding Marathon on Animal Planet for the last 13 hours. The Animal Hoarders Marathon began at 9 this morning as victims were preparing for a full day before hearing the fateful sound of the show's opening credits.
Almost instantly, thousands were pinned to their couches by a story of a heavyset homosexual living with his partner, his toothless sister, and 31 chihuahuas. Rescue workers rushed to free as many victims as they could. The rope secure? Rope secure. We're gonna get you out of here. Just hold on a second, ma'am. Wait, I think the next one is about monkeys. Ready? Ready! Pull! No, no, wait, wait. Can I just see what happens with the feral cat? In other parts of the country, rescue workers enlisted volunteers who had already seen the episodes to spoil them for the victims. Oh, yeah, this one. This is about the lady living with the dogs in the trailer. She doesn't even get evicted in the end. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited here to dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. You just drop by there and enjoy all the features on the site. They are completely free. With you tonight, it's me, Ian. And Derek Oh, my goodness, Derek J. Try that one more time. And Derek J. Sounds so much better. And you look so much better than I do, literally like 60 seconds out of stepping out of the shower. I, you're looking good tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Fresh and smelling good. Yeah, so uh, stuff to talk about. We've always got it. But if you've got something that is on your mind and you'd like to discuss with us, we're here for you. 855-450-FREE. Derek J., would you consider yourself an introvert? No. no. Had, had you ever been well, I don't know. It's a tough term to define because I spend a lot of time alone, but mm -hmm. I'm very comfortable in social settings. So I would say, no, I've never been an introvert in the sense that like I can't deal with social situations or I prefer not to be in them. Um, it's just that I happen to spend a lot of time alone. I don't know where I came across this, probably Facebook or something. It's actually not a brand new story from the Huffington Post. It uh, came out last year, but it's the first time I've seen it. Are you an introvert? It's I tested as an introvert uh, when I was a kid. You know, they have that test that you take with the Myers-Briggs, I think it is. Oh, okay. The ISTP, I-E-N-T-J, the different letters. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so according to that, I am an introvert. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, when's the last time you took that test? I guess about a year ago. I wonder how I would test today on that. I don't know if I've taken it in recent years, but, you know, I've actually made more of an effort to be extroverted. Well, it depends uh, so much on one's environment, right? Like, uh, if you're surrounded by a bunch of people you hate, you might be an introvert uh, just because of your environment. I think that one of the ways it's defined, and the article will tell us a little bit more here, but I think one of the ways that introversion is defined is that people who are extroverts, they uh, not only are is it pleasurable to be around other people, but it, like, feeds them. Yeah, it gives them energy. Yeah. yeah. And I guess introverts are the, the reverse. Huh. So there's a story here over at HuffingtonPost.com. 23 signs you're secretly an introvert. It says, think you can spot an introvert in a crowd? Think again. Although the stereotypical introvert may be the one at the party who's hanging out alone by the food table fiddling with an iPhone, the social butterfly can just as easily have an introverted per personality. Spotting the introvert can be harder than finding Waldo, says Sophia Dembling, author of The Introvert's Way, Living a Quiet Life in a Noisy World. Tells the Huffington Post, quote, a lot of introverts can pass as extroverts. She says that pe people are frequently unaware that, they're, that they are introverts, especially if they're not shy, because they may not realize that being an introvert is about more than just cultivating time alone. Instead, it can be more instructive to pay attention to whether they're losing or gaining energy from being around others. That's a very unscientific term. Losing <laughs> or like, gaining energy? Oh, just, oh, yeah, my aura is increasing right. when I'm around people. <laughs> even if the company of friends gives them pleasure. Introversion is a basic temperament, so the social aspect, which is what people focus on, is really a small part of being an introvert, says Dr. Marty Olson Laney, psychotherapist and author of The Introvert Advantage, saying in immense discussion that it affects everything in your life. Despite the growing conversation around introversion, it remains a frequently misunderstood personality trait. As recently as 2010, the American Psychiatric Association even considered classifying introverted personality as a disorder by listing it in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, DSM-5, a manual used to diagnose mental illness. Mm -hmm. Of course, this DSM thing is just full of things that are heavily overdiagnosed from ADD to uh, the idea of uh, oppositional defiance disorder, which, of course, you and I would probably easily be diagnosed as oppositionally defiant. Yeah, I'm skeptical of that uh, classification book. It seems like 
a bunch of academics invented it, I don't know, 50 or so years ago sure. to just prescribe what would be modern day witchcraft. Like, oh, they're a witch or they're they're different, you know. You so, need pills. Yeah, throw them in a cage or, yeah, medicate them, uh, give them shock therapy, whatever the solution is for the modern psychopaths. More and more introverts, however, are speaking out about what it really means to be a quiet type. Not sure if you're an innie or an outie? See if any of these 23 telltale signs of introversion apply to you. Number one, you sp- you find small talk incredibly cumbersome. Hmm. Introverts are notoriously small talk phobic, and they find idle chatter to be a source of anxiety or at least annoyance. For many quiet types, chit-chat can feel disingenuous. Let's clear one thing up. Introverts do not hate small talk because we dislike people, says Lori Helgo in her book, Introvert Power, Why Your Inner Life is Your Hidden Strength. We hate small talk because we hate the barrier that it creates between people. And I got to say that small talk is kind of annoying to me. What? It's a barrier? Well, that's what she says. She says it's a barrier between people, but I don't agree. That small talk is how you start a conversation, right? You don't want to just jump in with like, so what was your with childhood like? Stuff. Yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, oh, so do you like baseball? Do you watch the same shows I do? Mm. You got to have some kind of groundwork laid, even if it's just talking about the weather. Number two, you go to parties, but not to meet people. If you're an introvert, you may sometimes enjoy going to parties, but chances are you're not going because you're excited to meet new people. At a party, most introverts would rather spend time with people they already know and feel comfortable around. If you happen to meet a new person that you connect with, great, but meeting people is rarely the goal. Hmm. Now, I have to say that, you know, when I go to parties, I do tend to associate with people that, you know, that I know, which is one of the reasons why, like at the Liberty Forum, which is kind of like a weekend long social event, which is coming up, by the way, in early March at the uh, in Manchester this year, go to nhlibertyforum.com to grab your tickets. But one of the things I like to do there is I work the free keen table. That way I have to meet new people. Mm-hmm. So I, I put myself in a position where I am i can't control who comes up, right? And so therefore I'm more likely to meet people that I otherwise wouldn't necessarily stop to talk to. Yeah, but I see this as more of a throwaway bullet point because who isn't more comfortable talking with people they already know? There's always going to be a risk associated with meeting someone new. They could reject you. They could insult you. Well, um, maybe this is a telltale sign that you may be an introvert then, <laughs> okay. right? Uh, or at least that's an, they're saying that that's an introverted uh, trait, right? Like an, a true extrovert, extrovert would come to a party ready to meet a bunch of new people. Number three, you feel often often feel alone in a crowd. Ever feel like an outsider in the middle of social gatherings and group activities, even with people you know? If you tend to find yourself feeling alone in a crowd, you might be an introvert, says Dembling. We might let friends or activities pick us rather than extending our own invitations. Hmm. Networking, number four, makes you feel like a phony. Networking, read small talk with the end goal of advancing your career, can feel particularly disingenuous for introverts who crave authenticity in their interactions. Networking is stressful if we do it in the ways that are stressful to us, says Dembling, advising introverts to network in small, intimate groups rather than at large mixers. Number five, you've been called too intense. I get this one. Uh, People say I'm intimidating, which I don't feel like I am, but... (laughs) I don't, certainly don't look intimidating. Uh, do you have a penchant for philosophical conversations and a love of provoking books and movies? If so, you're a textbook introvert. Uh-oh. Introverts like to jump into the deep end, says Dembling. Six, you're easily distracted. While extroverts tend to get bored easily when they don't have enough to do, introverts have the opposite problem. They easily get distracted and overwhelmed in environments with an excess of stimulation. Extroverts are commonly found to be more easily bored than introverts on monotonous tasks, probably because they require and thrive on high levels of stimulation. In contrast, introverts are more easily distracted than extroverts and hence prefer relatively unstimulating environments. How does that apply to you? I don't know. I really, how does it apply to you? I don't get bored easily. No, no, I never get bored. But that's bored. always because I have something to do. I mean, I feel like I've I've got more on my plate than I can possibly handle generally at any given moment, and I have to stop myself to take time out for leisure because I can just fill my days with as much as I want. So this article is written by an introvert, right? I don't know. Presumably. Because he or she is using a lot of language that seems to be, 
I don't know, they're, they're where the connotation is positive. Mm. That they're saying oh, if you're introverted, then it's great, and you're you know intellectual and stimulating and deep. And if you are an extrovert, well, then you're just vapid, and you know you don't care about deep philosophical conversations, and you're happy to be entertained. Are people born introverted, or are they made introverted? And also, can you change from a uh, introvert to an extrovert? Can you change from an extrovert to an introvert? I'm curious to know what your experience has been. You, the listener, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We could talk about bad cops, too. There's a, they're always in the news. There's a lot of stuff, of course. You can bring up anything you want here on Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw of free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This 
is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. We're going through the 23 signs you might be an introvert, or 23 signs you're secretly an introvert, as the Huffington Post has put it. We're through about six of those, and we'll give you a quick recap on that here in a moment. You can also join us at toll-free number 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Something else you can do over at freetalklive.com is get some coffee for free. A pound of it, as a matter of fact. You just go to coffee.freetalklive.com and you get signed up for BuzzBox Coffee. They will send you the pound. You just have to pay the shipping cost for it. And it's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. This is great coffee. And try it for yourself. BuzzBox obviously is very confident that they think you're going to like this stuff. In fact, so far, everybody on the show who's a coffee drinker has enjoyed themselves some BuzzBox and have raved about it. So find out for yourself if you like it. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If you do, you're on their auto ship program, so you can then customize your subscription, uh, decide how much coffee you want and how often you want it delivered, and it'll be sent to you automatically. And as, a, as an even better deal or a detail that you need to know about. A portion of the profits from each of these pounds of coffee will go toward microloans, funding microloans for people in really tough parts of the world to, uh, to make a living, to help people kind of raise, raise themselves up. And uh, microloans through Kiva.org, that's something we're doing with BuzzBox. I think it's pretty neat. You can go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Every 10 listeners that signs up at coffee.freetalklive.com allows us to give out one new microloan every single month. So go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Ian and Derek J. in the studio. Scott is on the line listening to KVLI in Lake Isabella, California. Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Hi, Ian. Derek, how are you guys doing tonight? Hello. Super. Go ahead, sir. You know, your your topic about the introvert extrovert really caught my attention um, just because I've been kind of questioning that my, about about that myself personally. Um, and, and some of the things that you were mentioning, I can't remember them now offhand, but they kind of just, they, they triggered a light. And it's like, you know, does a person who is outgoing when he's with people, around people, but yet enjoys being alone, would that, would that constitute as being an introvert? I think like, so. It's like it's like I'm, when around people, I have no problem interacting and even engaging and being very very social. Mm-hmm. But then it's like once I hit my end, okay, I'm done. I I'm, I want to be alone now. I've had my fill. My 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 people meter has reached its max. I'm, I've had enough of people. Yeah, it definitely and sounds like, like I'm it. Perfectly con- perfectly content with going home, enjoying my Mountain View, looking <laughs> at the sky, listening to radio, and playing with my dog, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Yeah, I'd say and you I sound kind of like me. You time, sound like I like people. Yeah, you sound like kind of like a practiced introvert, right? Like that you've it, it's taken for me at least. It's taken effort to become someone who can actually you know interact and sort of be outgoing in, in a social environment like that. Yeah, and the thing that you also mentioned too was it's like too much clutter or too busy is like it's like Rain Man goes off. It's 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 almost comical inside of my head. It's like too much too much going on in too little space. I've got to get out of here where things make sense. And it, 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 I know it sounds funny, but yet at that time when you're when you're closed in, it's like like uh, a friend of mine's house. It's really small. Lots of big furniture, really cramped, and for, and, and a, you know, a few cats and a dog, and I'm feeling like totally claustrophobic. Like I can't wait to get out of here. Hmm. <laughs> but yet it's like it's like it's like I'm in a, I'm in a hurry, but I have nowhere to go. But I don't want to be here. That, that sounds like two overlapping things. <laughs> yeah, it sounds say, like obsessive sound like... compulsive disorder or right. something. Uh, yeah, that, I don't know if introversion is defined as you know whether or not you're you're comfortable around stuff. I'm not sure about that, but uh, yeah, it could be OCD. Right. Anyway, yeah, I've heard that too. Anyways, I just want to say uh, thank you for putting on a great show. Hey, Let thanks. me ask you this though yeah. too. Um, one more thing, real quick. Um, you were talking about extroversion and introversion. With extroversion, would you say, um, based on your information and just the things that you've gathered, that an introvert is more of a free thinker than an extrovert is? Oh, I don't know about that. Because they're more philosophical within themselves. I, I don't know what the extrovert's internal conversation is. I mean, I can't really say for sure on that. But I don't think that there's any statement as to whether or not an introvert is necessarily more wise or well, intelligent than an extrovert. Definitionally, a person who's spending more time alone is going to have more time for self-reflection. Yeah. 
Yeah, but... I enjoyed the conversation, gentlemen. Thanks. Okay, fair enough. Thanks, Scott, for the call tonight. I'll, I appreciate I'll, I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to the rest of the on, on the air. Excellent, sir. I appreciate that. The toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE, whereas if you're interacting more with people, you could be benefiting from that, too, right? Like, if you're not interacting with people and you're reading books, well, that's good. But if you're interacting with people, then you can get expertise from them, too, at the same time. Sure, and you could be exposed to new ideas, so I guess it could work both ways. Yeah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say one is better than another, right? They're just different. People are just different. But mm-hmm. the question I was asking is, are you born that way? Or is being an introvert something that's learned behavior or an extrovert something that's learned behavior? Like, you, do you pick it up your, from your parents? Is this an environmental thing? Or is it a switch that's, you know, flicked uh, before you even come out of your mother's womb? I don't know. I've never really observed, like, toddlers or babies in a playpen or something. But I would imagine you could get some sort of idea could about— Could you identify it? Yeah. yeah, like a kid who wants to play alone with a train or something versus someone who wants to mm. build together. Share, share your thoughts with us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. A quick recap here, just reading the bold here, the bold uh, points. You find small talk incredibly cumbersome. These are the 23 signs. You're secretly an introvert. Two, you go to parties but not to meet people. Three, you often feel alone in a crowd— Four, networking makes you feel like a phony. Five, you've been called too intense. Six, you're easily distracted. And seven, downtime doesn't feel unproductive to you. This is the one we left off on here. One of the most fundamental characteristics of introverts, according to HuffingtonPost.com, that's the source of the story, is that they need time alone to recharge their batteries. So that was what our last caller was expressing, right? Mm -hmm. Like he went to the party, but after a little while, okay, got to get out of here. Got to get alone. Whereas an extrovert might get bored or antsy spending a day at home alone with a tea and or with tea and a stack of magazines. This sort of downtime feels necessary and satisfying to an introvert. And I can tell you there are some times where I'd just rather sit and play a video game than go to some kind of a social event. Um, even though I do enjoy going to social events at the same time. And maybe there are people who are sort of straddling the fence. You know, they're equal parts introvert and extrovert, not not heavy one way or the other. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder about that for myself because some of these apply to me. Most of them, I would say, apply, but certainly not at all. So where's that? where does that leave me or you? I wonder what an extrovert, you know, listening to this or somebody who really is certain they're an extrovert because you said you were an extrovert, right? When at the beginning, the that's what yeah. I thought. But now I'm hearing <laughs> this. I'm like, uh... I'm not so sure. Number eight, giving a talk in front of 500 people is less stressful than having to mingle with those people afterwards. Introverts <laughs> can be excellent leaders and public speakers, and although they're stereotyped as being the shrinking violet, they don't necessarily shy away from the spotlight. Performers like Lady Gaga, Christina Aguilera, and Emma Watson all identify as introverts, and an estimated 40% of CEOs have introverted personalities. Instead, an introvert might struggle more with meeting and greeting large groups of people on an individual basis. Why would that be, I wonder? Just It's too much pressure for them? I, okay, pressure? so uh, I'll give you an example of this for me. Like this year, I ran for governor as a Democrat in the Democratic primary here in New Hampshire. I took yeah. on the uh, the existing incumbent, and she refused to debate me, uh, as as did the third person who was de- uh, who was in the race. And so there was a debate that happened between the Republican candidates, and I got to give a 10-minute speech in advance. And I'll tell you how I felt. Uh, afterwards here in a moment 855 450 free you can share your stories too did you know by age 50 half of all men have an enlarged prostate this means more urges to urinate longer bathroom trips waking at night to urinate or issues with sex if this sounds familiar call us now because we're shipping free bottles of super beta prostate to listeners of this station super beta prostate is a non-prescription formula Guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-881-1075. That's 1-800-881-1075. Call 1-800-881-1075. 
Shortly after being fired from his coding position at a downsizing tech firm, 34-year-old Irvine native Sam Morrison told Reporters Monday that he believed he had finally achieved the sort of work-life balance for which he has long strived. Yeah, ever since I got fired, it just seems like my whole entire routine is just clicking. I go for jogs in the afternoon, spend nights with my wife and kid. I'm even cooking more. Everything just feels right. Morrison, who since his termination has found time to pick up reading again, eat a healthy diet, and sleep more than five hours a night, noted that his unemployment has allowed him to find a level of harmony in his personal life that he never before thought possible. For a while there, I thought that I was going to spend the rest of my life constantly worrying about getting to the office on time and pleasing my boss. Outside of the late payments on the house, the mounting credit card debt, the rapidly depleting savings, my life is essentially stress-free. I honestly couldn't be happier. This is the Onion News Network. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Welcome to the program. You can dial in toll-free here and bring up anything that you would like. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, you've got me, Ian. And Derek J. Derek J. You can find more of Derek J. over at DerekJ.me. And uh, you've been updating your blog recently. I've uh, I've seen there's been lots of things that uh, you've been up to, right? Yeah, I've been posting about my recent decision to take the Keene Police, the local police here in New Hampshire to the New Hampshire State Supreme Court. And I'm very excited about that. Yeah, that's so, okay. So that's official now. You Have you talked to the attorney? I have a, talked to and retained the attorney. So it is super official. Paperwork is, is going in. So Good. we are taking the Keene Police to the New Hampshire State Supreme Court. I was going to say that. Paperwork's probably going to be in pretty soon because you only get like a month to file the appeal. If yeah, I'm, just I'm a couple of days. Mistaken. So, so that's going to be in, and you can read about that at my website, DerekJ.me. And um, it's also DerekJ.me slash CC for the concealed carry thing. Yeah, or you'll find a link on the front page. Now, the uh, this there's also a fundraiser going on. So for folks who might support gun rights, people who are interested in your right to bear arms without having to beg government permission, uh, this might be something they'd be interested in. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go forward with it whether I get support or not, but I've been really amazed to see the level of... The, to which people will support this because they know it's it's not just about one guy. I mean, mm-hmm. it's about protesters having the right to defend themselves. Uh, should a person lose their right to the Second Amendment 
just because they exercise the first. Or That's because essentially the question. Or because they don't respect the police. Yeah. Apparently that was one of the reasons why you were denied because not only do you not respect the police as much as the state would like you to, but also your disrespect for the police uh, has, uh, or the police state, if you will, has led you down a road towards doing more activism, which also the state doesn't like. I mean, the reasons they denied you this were absolutely ridiculous. No one ever said you were a danger to anyone. No, they don't like my um, political um, activism. And you're not so a physical danger, stuff. but your ideas are dangerous. You're you are a danger to the state, just not in a physical capacity. You're not going to hurt the police. You're not going to hurt the judges. But your ideas are damaging their legitimacy in the public's eyes, and that's one of the worst things you can do to them. Correct. And peaceful people, you know, should not have their rights infringed, shouldn't be thrown in cages. So I, I want to stand up for all peaceful people whose rights should be respected. Derek J. M. E. And then if you want, you can put a slash CC on there to get more information about the concealed carry situation. Yes. All right. Let's go to David. He's in San Francisco. We've been going through the 23 signs that you're actually an introvert. We're through about seven of those signs. David, you're uh, on with us. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, well, uh, greetings. You know, I was actually interested in this because, I, I, as I understand it, you know, sociologically, uh, there should be a good percentage, well, not a good percentage, a percentage of the population who are introverts, mm -hmm. loners. Uh, they make up sometimes the uh, inventors, but what's more important is in preservation of a species, it's good to have... Uh, somebody who's off in the hinterland, so if there's an epidemic, uh, the whole species doesn't die. And um, so it's, but the inventors, they're clever people, there are, uh, you know, loners actually make up quite a, an interesting cross-section of, of any population. And um, so, I, as a matter of fact, a good many of my friends uh, are loners. And I get some of the best conversations and the best uh, uh, ideas from these loners. Hmm. Well, I was looking here. Your question made me curious, and I Googled uh, what, you know, what portion of the population are introverts. Now, I don't know how legitimate this source is, but introvertretreat.com is the first result that comes up on Google. And... They claim that it, it was once believed that 25% of the U.S. population was introverted, but more recent studies have shown it to be closer to 50%. Wow. So. Yeah, you shouldn't feel guilty about it. You no, know, I, I think so. In fact, yeah, and in fact, uh, if you've ever read that uh, book, Men Are From Mars, uh, Women Are From Venus, they go by the precept that uh, the way that guys calculate an, an issue, uh, if, if a guy has pr uh, presented a problem, He's going to go into his shell and try to work it out, whereas women uh, will talk among themselves until they work out that problem. And so it's apparently a, you know, a sociological standard that, that most guys are going to go into an introverted shell in order to work out a problem. And whether or not that's uh, you know, inherent in our species, uh, it, it still seems to me that... Uh, uh, you know, as we're in a complicated world, and as the world gets more complicated, uh, it probably forces people, you know, a greater percentage of the population to go into, uh, you know, some sort of calculating mode. And, uh, you know, the, the greater the problems, the more chance that a uh, higher percentage of the population are going to go to into retreat and study. David, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate the thoughts. Sure. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So... I was talking about number eight on this list, and uh, then we went to the break. And so the number eight here is giving a talk in front of 500 people is less stressful than having to mingle with those people afterwards. Is that true for you? It was true for me recently. I had this experience when I was uh, giving a speech in front of the Republican debate. I was running as a Democrat for governor in New Hampshire for the purposes of basically challenging the incumbent. I knew I didn't have a chance and she knew I didn't have a chance, so she didn't accept the debate uh, invitation. But Aww. the debate uh, hosts, the Frank Franklin Pierce University, were so gracious to offer me 10 minutes uh, in front of the Republican debate, which actually happened. So I got 10 minutes, un you know, unrebutted, just to say whatever I wanted to say to the audience there. And, uh, and it was great. I, I, you know, the speech went well. Like, I had no problem delivering that speech. It wasn't an audience of 500, but there were, you know, a few dozen people there. And afterwards, you know, I just kind of stood around and 
I don't know. I just didn't feel like I'm the kind of I'm not the I don't know if glad handing is the right term for this. I'm not the kind of person who You're supposed is, to go out and kiss some yeah, babies. I'm man. not doing the baby kissing. I'm not going around trying to shake everybody's meet people. hand. Yeah, I just uh, hi. I just, I'm Ian. I'm wearing an orange power tie. Yeah, that's uh, just a, not my my thing, right? Like that would be out of my comfort zone, and I huh. don't have a problem with getting out of my comfort zone. But it takes practice for an introvert to get out of that zone. And, you know, I know these people. <laughs> so it was weird. It was a weird feeling. Luckily, there were a few people who approached me. And, you know, like, I don't want to push myself on people. That's not, I guess that's what a standard politician would do. But I don't feel comfortable you know, yeah. doing that. Yeah, you have to be really full of yourself to be a right. good politician. <laughs> Uh, so going on here on this list of 23 things, number nine, when you get on the subway, you sit at the end of the bench, not in the middle. Now, hey. Derek J., you've lived in a big city. I, I sit all over. Yeah, I don't get on subways very often, so I really can't say I... I sit wherever I can. Yeah, I don't really... I mean, subways are packed. Right, it doesn't really bother me either way. No. Whenever possible, though, they say here, introverts tend to avoid being surrounded by people on all sides. Dembling says we're likely to sit in places where we can get away when we're ready to, easily. When I go to the <laughs> theater, I want the aisle seat or the back seat. Now, th that just makes sense to take the aisle seat, right? Like, you know, if you don't want to have to step over a bunch of people to get out... Yeah, that's seats. why they fill up first. I right. mean, everyone wants the aisle seat. You can spread your leg out. You can get an exactly. extra uh, armrest for popcorn or a drink or something. Plus, if you're in the middle of the speakers, doesn't that make the surround sound better? Like, you know, if you're closer to one side or the other, wouldn't that kind of throw off the surround sound yeah, experience? Probably would. Uh, number 10, you start to shut down after you've been active for too long. Do you start to get tired and unresponsive after you've been out and about for too long? It's likely because you're trying to conserve energy. Everything introverts do in the outside world causes them to expend energy, after which they'll need to go back and replenish their stores in a quiet environment. Yeah, unlike extroverts who never spend energy. <laughs> That's what? a weird one, right? Yeah. Short of a quiet place to go, many introverts will resort to zoning out. That, of, that seems to imply that extroverts just have some unlimited tap of energy. Well, that I guess the idea no is that the extrovert gains energy from being around people. I don't understand that personally, but then again, I'm not an extrovert. So. Yeah. Number 11, you're in a relationship with an extrovert. It's true that opposites attract and introverts frequently gravitate towards outgoing extroverts who encourage them to have fun and not take themselves too seriously. Huh. Introverts are sometimes drawn to extroverts because they like being able to ride their fun bubble. <laughs> More coming up here in moments. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Can you become an introvert from being an extrovert or vice versa? What's your experience? You can share with us here on Free Talk Live. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. It's the end of year clearance sale at Lumber Liquidators. We'd rather sell it than count it. So every floor and every store is on sale, and it all must go. Get incredible deals on first quality flooring from just 35 cents a square foot. Beautiful three-quarter inch pre-finished solid hardwood is just $179. Save even more on all liquidation clearance and closeouts. If it's in stock, it's on sale, and pay no interest until January 2017. Don't miss these end-of-year deals on over 400 floors. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. The Experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. 
If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. Toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. We're about halfway through the list of twenty three signs that you may actually be an introvert. We'll uh, tell you a little bit more about those here in a moment. Ian and Derek J in the studio, and we're going to continue with your calls and thoughts. Tom is in Detroit, listening to LRN.FM. Hey, Tom. Hey, Ian. Good to hear you again, my yes, friend. Sir. Well, we're on seven uh, nights a week. I, Go ahead with your thoughts. Of course, you are, and I have anyway. Uh, Ian or uh, excuse me, Derek, has, has mentioned that he's going to court and uh, he's hired a lawyer. Mm-hmm. And we, we uh, you know, the, you're obviously quite familiar with Mark Stevens and has, have used his uh, help. And uh, I, I, I watched the, the Derek video and it was a really bad example. Uh, bad example to, of what? Know. Which Derek video? There are many Derek videos. Yeah, well, the, the Derek video where he went in on, uh, off the top of my head, I can't, I don't want to throw it out there, but he, he went in and, and defended himself in a court case recently and really, really just completely blew it. I and think now, you're talking about the arraignment that I had for a parking yep, ticket. That's it. Derek's arraignment. That's yep. it. Is this where you tried the Mark Stevens questions? Was that? Yeah, this was my second yeah. attempt at trying the, the Mark Stevens strategy. And Tom's right. I didn't do a very good job. I could improve. And I tell you what, not, many of us don't. Okay, I have blown it many times also, and I'm I'm still applying it. I've, I'm you know battling two court cases for over a year, but at least I'm able to continue it for over a year. But anyway, so what do you think I did so wrong? Now, well, Derek, you didn't even apply anything. I mean, <laughs> not any of All the right. concepts. Tell me you how you really feel. It right <laughs> off. So and and I I actually made some comments on that video and blah blah blah. Anyway, but now so what am I supposed I, to do? Well, hold on here. You hired a lawyer. 
That's the first thing you're not supposed to do. Now wait a minute. Yeah. These are two different these are two different cases. I go to court for lots of things. This was a parking ticket and I don't have a lawyer for that. Okay. All right. Well, you were just speaking just now of going to court on yeah. an issue. That's for something else. You do have a lawyer. Now That's correct. why would uh, no, so my question is this, just let's make it simple. Why would you hire a lawyer? Because why? I'm going on the offense, not the defense. So I need to have someone who's experienced and knows what he's doing. Have you ever filed a Supreme Court uh, case, Tom? It's a huge hassle. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Even even trying to file an appeal uh, above. That's what we're talking about here. Yeah, Filing an yeah. appeal to the Supreme Court. I've looked at this before, and it's ridiculous the amount of rules and uh, requirements the legalistic nonsense that is required, I would not want to go to the Supreme Court without having an attorney. Now, they generally are a little bit more forgiving of mistakes that you make, right? Like, so if you're not represented by an attorney, then usually courts will give you some leeway to botch it up to some extent. But there just seemed like when I was looking at the court rules for Supreme Court, it just seemed like so much minutia. I didn't want to deal with it. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, with hiring an attorney. But wh what are you getting at there, Tom, when you say that that's a problem? Well, you know, I, 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 now that you've said that, I tend to agree with you because I actually I have followed Mark's uh, suggestions. And, uh, you know, I've been on his Skype chat. I've been doing this now for quite some time. And uh, I also encountered when I went to a uh, when when I ended my how do I put it the district court battle to go to the to the uh, uh, circuit court just to step up in the circuit court the minutia as you put it you're right the paperwork the 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 the, uh, the obstacles they put in your way are just so purposeful and so to distract you to get you not to do that. You know, to stand up for yourself. Yeah, so, I mean, it was just simple yeah. little stuff that bothered the hell out of me. Like, you had to submit eight copies to the Supreme Court. One for each Supreme Court justice and one for the file and one for this and that. And it's like one of the times I tried to do it from inside jail, and I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to make eight copies of this? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's just not even... You know, to, to somebody else, they might say, oh, well, that's no big deal. But for me, it was just an annoyance. And that was kind of the level of annoyance. Imagine that and then multiply it times 100 as far as the other little thing. Like, you have to have – you can't use staples. You have to put it in this kind of binder. It has to be this size. It has to be this font. And, you know, those are some of the things that, I, from what I understand, they will be flexible on for non-attorneys. But at any time, they can also dismiss your case. Like, well, you didn't put it on uh, this kind of paper, and so therefore – you're out of here. Yeah, I agree. All right. But what I, would you I, say? I, what would you, you suggest for um, for Derek J. As far as Mark Stevens's questions, these are questions that are designed to sort of box the court in to put them back into a corner and uh, reveal the violence inherent in the system, which obviously, you know, we have no no problem doing here in Keene and, and taking that level of risk. Of course, there is also the risk they'll put you in a cage if you do those things. So, you know, no, there no, there's no guarantee that the Mark Stevens system will work. It could result in them coming at you even harder. But what would you recommend? Oh, well, just what, with what you just said, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm going through a court case right now with as soon as I open my mouth, <laughs> the judge said, you want to go to jail for contempt of court. So mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. That's what so, happened to me when yeah. I first uh, – I wasn't using Mark Stevens stuff, but when I started – when I was first in court, I tried out some of these conspiracies, these courtroom conspiracies, and, you know, sounded like a fool and got myself three contempt of court charges as a, as a result like that. Uh, so, you know, that didn't work out for me. And, of course, everybody always has their own plan and what they want to see happen. And to those people, I say, let's see you do it. Let's see you put it into effect. And, Tom, I would encourage you to do the same thing. But can you even get a video camera in court in Michigan? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't even asked. Every time I go, I have a uh, surreptitious uh, recording being made, and I also buy the uh, uh, the transcript, which I just purchased the other day for this thing going on with me right now, and, and I just to to verify because I've also seen that they can omit omit things from the transcript and decide to pull things from the transcript. So I'm always curious to see how much did you pay for a transcript because those are not cheap in my experience. 
Yes, true, but this is the very first, <laughs> if you only knew. Well, it goes back to, you guys remember, the March 22nd issue where I got surrounded. My house was surrounded by the cops uh, at 1230 at night with guns, lights, everything else, demanding me to come out of my house. And this is still ongoing. This is now 2015, and we're still battling it. And they've dropped the charges all the way down to a nuisance hmm. because they want to try to eliminate what they think are you know, uh, burdens that they that they need to carry. So it's up to me to make them carry the correct burden. But, but when you're recording surreptitiously uh, in court, the audio can't be very good, right? Because you've got a recording device in a pocket or something. Correct. And, but it's, it's, it's okay. And it, and, uh, when I get the transcript, like, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I have to laugh. The judge used some words that were uh, absolutely ludicrous, just silly words. And I didn't get those on the on the uh, recording. That's why I buy the transcripts. I don't care what the transcripts cost. They're 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 value. They're uh, priceless. You know. I, I, <laughs> what did you pay for it though? Because uh, they're not cheap. I mean, there are hundreds of dollars for a short trial and thousands for a long trial. Oh yeah. Well, this one remind you now. They have now twice given me a ticket that they never served to me, and this last one, where I just got this transcript, it was only twenty bucks because. They had to actually acknowledge the judge after threatening to throw me in jail for questioning that, hey, I haven't even gotten a ticket yet. I don't even have the complaint in my hand. So what you're saying it was it was said, a short it was a short hearing because it was only twenty dollars. Yeah. It was two pieces. It was two part hearing gotcha. because he realized, well, he doesn't even have a complaint yet. But Tom, yeah, thanks for the call tonight. Minutes. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's one of those things you have to do every time you go to the Supreme Court. You're going to encounter this next, Derek J. is they're going to require that you order a transcript of the lower-level court's trial, and that's going to cost a few hundreds hundred bucks. of dollars. Yeah, it's expected yeah. to cost about 500 bucks. Is that right? You've already got the estimate on that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and it's a little too much. <laughs> it's I mean, insane. You're going to have to pay it because that's the only way to go forward. Right. And so, you know, it's like it's not good enough for the court that you had a camera there that recorded the entire thing effectively you have a video transcript almost i guess you can't use the term transcript with a video but you have a record you have a you know a record where you can hear pretty much everything that was said during the trial so yeah. why do you need a transcript well that's the rules yep silly well anyway you can share your thoughts here with us uh, the toll-free number is 855 450 free and as someone who's tried the mark stevens questions in court it's fun you can usually get some interesting answers out of the judge, and I think you did, if I'm recalling correctly, in your case. Yeah, Judge Burke said that I could get a fair trial even if the judge and the prosecutor were on the same, <laughs> the same team. team. <laughs> yeah, I've had some interesting answers, but one of the things that happens to me is I'll get lost, right? So if the judge says X, I don't know how to respond to X, and it's just one of those things that it takes practice. That's what happened to me. He yeah. said that there was no crime, only a violation, and I, I didn't know what like, to ah, say, but ah, ah. I should have said, violation of what? Mm. More coming up here. Well, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? Hmm? Toll free numbers eight fifty five four fifty free. And remember, you know, if you try these unusual tactics, they could end end you up in a jail cell as well. Some people are upset at Mark Stevens for not putting disclaimers on his show. It's Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Tweyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, January 5th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,189, silver at $15.77, and Bitcoin is trading around $271. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Bee is sponsored by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. With civil unrest occurring all across the country, being food secure has never been more important. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash the Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, a new report details how the Federal Bureau of Investigation uses an internal surveillance program to monitor employees born outside the United States or who have friends or relatives living abroad. The New York Times reports the program began shortly after the September 11th attacks in an effort to catch foreign spies attempting to infiltrate the Bureau. Employees under the post-adjudication risk management plan are subjected to frequent security interviews, polygraph tests, scrutiny of their travel records, and reviews of their emails. On Friday, the Obama administration issued a new round of sanctions against North Korea for alleged involvement or support of the hacks on Sony Pictures Entertainment. President Obama signed an executive order denying designated persons access to the U.S. financial system and authorizes the Treasury Secretary to apply sanctions on North Korean officials. Despite the U.S. government's assurances that North Korea was involved, a host of cybersecurity experts have stated the evidence incriminating the nation is flimsy and unlikely. A number of new laws have gone into effect in California, including the prohibition of state agencies of selling or displaying the Confederate flag or objects marked with it. The bill was introduced by Assemblyman Isidore Hall III and passed overwhelmingly. Assemblyman Tim Donnelly was the lone no vote stating that he is a strict constitutionalist and could not support the measure. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Just log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, January 5th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A videographer who shot video of the decimated World Trade Centers following the 9-11 attacks will be extradited back to the United States for questioning about the 2002 murder of his wife. Kurt Sonnenfeld will face accusations of involvement with his deceased wife's murder. Sonnenfeld claims his video proves the U.S. government's official story on the terrorist attacks is a lie. Sonnenfeld had previously been arrested and charged with first-degree murder, but those charges were dropped for lack of evidence. The battleground over traffic enforcement cameras may be shifting. The Associated Press reports that nearly half of all states use cameras to track red light or speeding violations, and some use both. But while the number of communities nationwide that use red light cameras is gradually falling, the number of speed cameras is slowly rising. A man in South Africa has 3D printed a working lawnmower in about nine hours. Hans Fusche told 3dprint.com that his Cheetah 3D printer allows him to print at extremely high speeds. The only parts of the mower which were not printed were the motor, the blade, the handle, and the wheel shafts. The Liberty Bee is made possible by My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder 
the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Bee is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To find out more details, just go online to thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Monday, January 5th, 2015. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Researchers have definitively concluded that it, all of it, is some kind of sick joke. The Princeton study suggests that the entirety of existence, including time, marriage, migratory patterns of birds, continental drift, life itself, photosynthesis, human society, and the changing of the seasons, are all part of a massive twisted ruse orchestrated by a spiteful cosmos. Look at you morons taking this stupid video for your pointless newspaper. Everything's a joke. I'm a joke. You're a joke. The whole universe is a joke. We at The Onion Week in Review are compelled to inform viewers that while this entire segment is indeed one small part of the giant perverse joke, the upshot is that the next minute of your life will be no more or less pointless than if you were to spend it with a loved one, mentoring an at-risk youth, or simply wallowing in your own feculence. In other news, Harley Davidson and Jack Daniels collaborate on a local felony. A churchgoer blanks on why she's lighting a votive candle. And please ring the bell and the boy will come round momentarily for your bags. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. Talk live, and you can bring up whatever you want right here, toll free 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online, just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. With you tonight, you've got Ian and Derek J. And there's stuff in the news to talk about. Of course, you can bring up anything that you want, but actually, I started the show out tonight, and we're about halfway through this list of the 23 signs that you might actually be an introvert. Derek J., you started the show saying that you were an extrovert, but yeah. now you're second-guessing that. And it would actually be interesting to see the same list for extroverts as well. Like, what defines an extrovert? and what you know? Because I can relate to a lot of the stuff in this list because I'm probably still an introvert. I tested as an introvert as a kid in the Myers-Briggs test. And I imagine that's still the case. Yeah, but I want to see where the crossover exists. Like, if an extrovert were to put out a list and there were some crossover, like things that appeared yeah. on both lists, I'd start to say, okay, we can cross those things off. Yeah, that would be interesting to see because there have been some in here like, uh, let's see. the the Like getting tired when you're out all day. I mean, right. Who doesn't get tired, doesn't get getting, tired? <laughs> going out all day? <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty ridiculous. But some of these have been pretty interesting. So we'll continue here, and you're welcome to share your thoughts with us. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, or you can join us on Skype. The Skype username you'll need is lrn.fm. Coming up, Derek J. will tell us about some open carry advocates in Texas who have been arrested. We'll mm-hmm. tell you what for and what happened Uh, But a real quick recap here of the ones we've been through already on this list. Number one, you find small talk incredibly cumbersome. Two, you go to parties but not to meet people. Three, you often feel alone in a crowd. Four, networking makes you feel like a phony. Five, you've been called too intense. Six, you're easily distracted. Seven, downtime doesn't feel unproductive to you. Eight, giving a talk in front of 500 people is less stressful than having to mingle with those people afterwards. Nine, when you get on the subway, you sit at the end of the bench, not in the middle. Ten, you start to shut down if you've been active for too long. Eleven, you're in a relationship with an extrovert. Twelve, and this is where we left off, you'd rather be an expert at one thing than try to do everything. The dominant brain pathways introverts use is one that allows you to focus and think about things for a while, so they're geared towards intense study and developing expertise. Well, I learned to hate studying when I was in high school, so I don't know if that one applies to me at all. I can't stand studying. I don't know. I was trained to do it, so it's I hard guess, to tell if it was innate or just drilled into me. I guess if I like the subject, I could do it, I suppose. I probably study things without realizing I'm studying them, but like when I think of studying, I think of sitting down and trying to learn something I don't want to learn. <laughs> like that's what studying feels like to me because of school. Yep. Number 13, you actively avoid any shows that might involve audience participation. Because really, is anything more terrifying, says the author here? I don't have a problem with that. 
that, that doesn't bother me to get up on stage and be silly or, you know, whatever that might be. Usually if your audience participating, you're probably going to be the butt of a joke or made fun of in some way or participate in something ridiculous. Yeah, this seems to contradict the earlier point that a, an introvert might not mind giving a speech in front of 500 people. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I see what you're here's, saying. Here's another example where they're like, yeah, but you could be in front of, I don't know. Number 14, you screen all your calls, even from friends. Again, these are signs you might uh, actually be an introvert. So, again, do all of them apply to every introvert? Obviously not. Um, but you screen all your calls. I certainly don't do that. I I mean, I'll... You take every call? I'll answer almost every call. I mean, the ones I don't like are the unknown numbers. Those kind of creep me out. A little bit. Yeah. But otherwise, it's, it's saying here that the introvert would screen a call even from friends. I certainly have no problem answering a call from friends. I do that. I'm sorry. I'm you, guilty. You screen everybody. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If I don't have time for you right now, I don't have time for you. Sorry. You may not pick up your phone even from people you like, but you'll call them back as soon as you're mentally prepared yeah. and have gathered the energy for the conversation. To me, says one of the experts here, a ringing phone is like having somebody jump out of a closet and go boo. I do like to have a long, nice phone call with a friend as long as it's not jumping out of the sky at me. So having it on your own time and on, on your own terms, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm a big so fan like, of we're those. we're different on that one. Then. Well, I'm a fan of the, they've added this to a lot of phones now where like you're getting a call and you can respond with a message right away. So hmm. you can just swipe up and be like, oh, I'm in a meeting and oh. or, um, you know, call me in five. These are great ways to just be like, not right now. Mm. Number 15, you notice details that others don't. The upside of being overwhelmed by too much stimuli is that introverts often have a keen eye for detail, noticing things that may escape others around them. Research has found that introverts exhibit increased brain activity when processing visual information as compared to extroverts. Hmm. I don't know how I, I can measure that. Yeah, I can't say I'm particularly good at detail. I have noticed that uh, girlfriends of mine have been good at detail. And, of hmm. course, they've done studies that show that women... They've like tested women and men, walked them into a room, like in a, a a room with a bunch of stuff on shelves, like where there's a lot going on. Yeah. And then they will take the person out of the room and then quiz them about what things did you notice? Did you notice the red ball on the shelf or whatever? Like, you yeah. know, the, they'll ask people what they remembered about what they saw. And just to a T, the women were just really good at being very exact about the things that they noticed in the room. And the guys were like, oh, there's some stuff in there. You know, just being very generic. How much of that do you think is culturally trained versus, like, human nature? Because Why would women be culturally trained more to notice things? Because, like, like magazines and uh, shows like Home Garden Network, they focus on little details and accessories. Like, I know my sister was always watching shows like that. Like, you know, is it chicken or the egg, I think? Like, maybe, I think she's been tr trained to mm -hmm. notice details. I don't know about that one. I'd love to have your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Number 16, you have a constantly running inner monologue. Extroverts don't have the same internal talking as we do, says Olson Laney. Most introverts need to think first and talk later. Huh. I definitely have an internal monologue, and I just figured that everybody did. Yeah. Do doesn't everybody? <laughs> well, that's what I would think. Or that's... maybe it's just introverts like you and me. No, because there are <laughs> some people that are described as having no filter, and it's not mm. every extrovert, right? Right. You know, so everyone's got some internal dialogue as long as there's this concept of a, a filter. Number 17, you have low blood pressure. A 2006 Japanese study found introverts tend to have lower blood pressure than their extroverted counterparts. Can't say I know for sure on that one. Number 18, you've been called an old soul since your 20s. I've yeah. gotten that one. Introverts observe and take in a lot of information, and they think before they speak, leading them to appear wise to others. Introverts tend to think hard and be analytical, says Dembling. That can make them seem wise. See, this is just written in a way that it makes me want to be, you know, like, <laughs> oh, I, well, I want to be wise. Yeah, that, that describes me. You Number, know, yeah. that's not fair. Number 19, you don't feel high from your surroundings. Neurochemically speaking, things like huge parties just aren't your thing. Extroverts and introverts differ significantly in how their brains process experiences through their reward centers. Researchers demonstrated this phenomenon by giving Ritalin, the ADHD drug that stimulates dopamine production in the brain, to introverted and extroverted college students. They found that extroverts were more likely to associate the feeling of euphoria achieved by the initial rush of dopamine with the environment they were in. 
Introverts, by contrast, did not connect the feeling of reward to their surroundings. The study suggests that introverts have a fundamental difference in how strongly they, uh, they process rewards from their environment, with the brains of introverts weighing internal cues more strongly than external motivational and reward cues. Whoa. There's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. Number 20. It makes me wonder where it comes from. Like, is it a parental thing? It's, I guess, where sort of what you were asking. From? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, if people can feel, like, reward from being in a large group, that just sounds kind of odd to me. But, you know, maybe if so they're So you don't get that reward then? Maybe I do. But I just having it put that way makes me think, like, well, what kind of child is raised to feel that way? Like, do they not get attention enough as a young person? My parents and then gave me plenty of attention. Yeah, so then maybe you don't crave attention from groups, you know? So, like, people who didn't mm. get a lot of attention, they're like, they're me, me, it. me, show me attention. You know, yeah, like, I need a large group. Could be. I'm wondering, just speculating. That sounds good to me. I mean, your speculation's welcome as well. Let's talk to Jupiter in New York City. You're on Free Talk hey, Live, how Jupiter. Are you? Hey there. How are you tonight? Good. Go hey. ahead with your thoughts, Jupiter. Well, they feel high from their surroundings. It sounds like sort of like a selfish kind of person. I don't know. Well, everybody's what selfish. <laughs> everybody's selfish. You think so? Yeah, of course, because right. you do everything you do for you. You know, and even if you're well, doing you something for others. To. Well, of course. True. Hang on, Jupiter. We'll bring you back here, yourself. and you can share more of your thoughts okay. with us. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like that idea that you know everybody's selfish. There's no way you can prove that other otherwise. I mean, even anytime you're helping others, you're still getting a good feeling from it. That's likely the reason why you're doing it because it feels good to help other people. We're coming up here in moments. 855 450 free. You take control here. Share your thoughts on introversion. Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800 691 6129. That's 800 691 6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at LionsOfLiberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free and take control of the airwaves at 855 450 free. You don't have to talk about introversion or extroversion, although it's uh, been the topic thus far throughout most of the show tonight. You can bring up anything you'd like. You can also join us via Skype. The Skype username for you to connect to is lrn.fm. We're going through the 23 signs that you might actually be an introvert. Maybe you thought you were an extrovert, but here are some ideas that might point otherwise. We'll uh, go through the remaining four uh, that we have here. We've been through uh, 1 through 19 thus far. And Ian and Derek J in the studio with you here tonight. Check out Derek J on his website at derekj.me. You just made a new video, actually, recently about your decision to go ahead with a case to Supreme Court in regards to gun rights. Your right to bear arms has been infringed upon by the Keene police here in town. And you've actually got a related story out of Texas where some folks' rights have been infringed upon who were trying to open carry. We'll tell you more about that here in a little bit. Derek J. will be sharing that with us. We'll continue the list and also continue with your calls. But first, I want to tell you about ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network. That means they encrypt your data. So, therefore, people who want to spy on you, like your internet service provider, they're not going to know what you're doing anymore. Right now, they're probably logging all the websites you visit, Logging the search terms that you enter in, maybe keeping those logs for as long as five years in some cases. You can put a stop to that by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Download their software. It's free. You get it for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. Linux users, you can get ProXPN rolling as well. It's just a bit of a different setup process. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. And don't forget to use code FTL50 when you're ready to uh, upgrade to their premium account. So again, you can start for free and get an experience of what it's like, but you get the full uh, experience with a premium account by using code FTL50. That saves you 50% off the price of the annual account. You get unlimited bandwidth. Servers around the world you can access. You can privately torrent with their premium account and get past regionally blocked websites. Go and learn more and get started over at proxpn.com slash FTL. There's a seven-day risk-free money-back guarantee. And ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits. Plus, you stay on for that whole year, and when you're ready to renew for the second year, you still get the same 50% off discount. So that discount is good for the lifetime of your account at ProXPN.com slash FTL, code FTL50. As we get back to Jupiter in New York City, we've been talking about introverts and extroverts. Can uh, Is one born an introvert? Can one change oneself? Uh, into an extrovert from being an introvert, and vice versa. Has that happened? And uh, Jupiter, you want to share your thoughts? Go ahead. Yeah, definitely. You're born. You can be born an introvert. I was born an introvert. Mm-hmm. There's no question. How do you know? And at some point, because I was painfully shy. What I kind of toys did you play with? Is. What? What kind of toys did you play with as a kid? <laughs> Barbies. <laughs> That's fairly typical, right? Yeah. But by yourself, yeah. I take it. But you can definitely grow out of that. You should grow out of it. It's normal to grow out of it. You have to grow you out of it. You mean playing with Barbies or growing out of introversion? <laughs> Being an introvert, you have to grow out of that. I don't think you do. Because then you're not growing. Like, the whole point of life is to grow. I don't think it's necessarily true that uh, you're not growing. I don't think the goal of life is to be an extrovert. I mean, there are plenty of people who are introverts, and they're no, very I'm successful. I'm not saying that either, but you have to 
No, I didn't say that. You have to grow out of being an introvert, though. I don't think you have to. Wait a minute. No. Ian, you said you've taken <laughs> steps to be more of an extrovert, like you've sort of trained yourself, right? Yeah, because I think there's benefits to, you know, especially being in a role like I am where I'm on the radio and, you know, people when you're at an event, they want to meet you. Uh, you should probably have the ability to converse with people, I guess. Jupiter, uh, that's all you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, so, I'm saying that you have to force yourself to make those changes because it's actually for your benefit if you do it, you know. It's so help you in life. did you learn to step out of your comfort zone as an introvert? Yeah. How? And it definitely changes your life because it can be boring as an introvert, really boring. Well, introverts really aren't bored by being introverts. You know, I mean, that's one of the things that the article is pointing out here is that, you know, if you're an introvert, then you're not bored. If you've got, you'll always have something to do yeah. as an introvert. It sounds like I'm you were just bored. lonely. I'm not saying that. I said a boring life in a way that you don't have a lot of people in your life and stuff like that. But I'm never, ever bored. What it sounds never. to me like, it sounds to me bored. like you're judging the introvert's life based on the perspective of being an extrovert. <laughs> Like, oh, well, I, yeah. you know, I'm an extrovert, and boy, if I were an introvert, my life would be so boring. But I no, bet you introverts wouldn't you'd say the same thing. Things. That's all I'm saying. You'd be missing out on a lot of experiences. That's what I'm saying. Totally. That's I can all. understand. I can understand your point. It would be interesting to hear an introvert's response to that. I can't say because I can't say that I'm completely introverted now due to the effort that I put into being somewhat extroverted. But I can imagine that an introvert who was like a total introvert would, you know, just disagree with you. They would say they're not bored at all and they don't feel like they're missing out on anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. But I understand your point. And, you know, maybe maybe the introvert could say the same thing about the extrovert. Like, oh, well, you're missing out on what it's like to study or uh, to, you know, yeah. what it's like to be an introvert. I don't you know what else. Feel by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Are, are the people you just be somewhere in between? Are the people you date introverted? Mm, no. I don't, I don't know. Jupiter. I need to find a date, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. You're in New York City. How hard can it be? Thanks yeah, for the call you know, tonight. You would think it would be easy, but dating sites are horrible. Like, I mean, you got to go meet these people. Like, why can't you just go out and meet someone somewhere, like in the olden days? Because like, you're a you recovering so introvert. Ah, uh, <laughs> thanks, Jupiter, for the call. It's Good luck with your dating life. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Should she try one of those apps like the the what the grinder? Definitely. What's no grinders for? Gay I know it's for gay guys. What's the equivalent? For Tinder, I think, Tinder. is the one that straight people use. Yeah. Now, are those people just looking for sex? Yeah. So you're not gonna like. Well, I'll speak for someone. myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone you meet on there, right? Uh, presumably, yeah. I have mean, there been guys that have been like, "Hey, I want to go on a date," and you just been like, "Nah, no thanks." Yeah, yeah. No, and then that that happens for other people too. And sometimes uh, that's just a way. That's a polite way of saying no. Okay, fair enough. It's good enough. <laughs> Toll free number tonight is eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's talk to Pete. He's in California. You're on Free Talk Live, Pete. Hey, I'd like to tell you about the morality of that statement you just said about Grinder. Oh, oh no! Boy. <laughs> Tell me about no, it, Pete. No, 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 Tell me something no, I've no, never no, heard thanks. before. Let me do my conservative uh, uh, redneck uh, pastor voice right now. Okay. Anyway, uh, you know you uh, you homosexuals that uh, you like to use a grinder to hook up with man and go to Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> That's wrong and it's immoral and obscene. And uh, you know we had to call the the Ku Klux Klan to. Uh, fix everything. Uh, you can wipe you out of this here county. I wish I could quit around. you. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Well, look, anyway, you know, on a real kick, that's not that that site is one of many. I think there's a swinger one also. People, people don't they don't realize that that lifestyle is detrimental. It, it'll it'll screw other things up in your life. In what know, way? Derek, you seem very happy to me. <laughs> I mean, you seem like everything's fine with with you. Yeah. In fact, without it, it screws up my life. Well, you know. Well, I'm happy without that stuff, you know. The Lord just gave me four A's, uh, uh, straight A's this semester in my college, you know. Yeah. I'm so happy for that. You know, I don't need a, a homosexual or a heterosexual hookup website that's going to have me meet somebody. Hey, you want to go get pizza? And then, oh, have sex. Hey, you well, you, don't, you skip the pizza, hey, right? You don't Here live on a farm, do you, Pete? <laughs> what? Just looking out for those uh, animals, man. Oh, thanks for the call, Pete. Not, All right, get out of here. 
855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Now, to be fair, I mean, the hookup lifestyle isn't right for everybody, but I would never look down my nose at somebody who is doing that. I mean, whatever, man, whatever floats your boat. 855-450 free. And I would say Derek's boat has been floated a few times. It's free talk live. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-881-1075. That's 1-800-881-1075. Call 1-800-881-1075. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world, so I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or... Go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime, 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. Whether you are an extrovert or an introvert, you're certainly welcome on the air here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number again is 855-450-FREE. With you tonight, it's Ian and Derek J. And don't forget Derek J's website, derekj.me, and our site, freetalklive.com. 
where we have all kinds of features and they are free. I haven't mentioned in a long time the Free Talk Live YouTube channel, but we do have one. Uh, you can go to youtube.freetalklive.com. That'll take you right to the YouTube channel. And pretty much you get all, every episode of the show in YouTube format. Sometimes there will be a little bit missing from one or the other because, honestly, sometimes I just forget to start the camera recorder uh, until like a half hour into the show. So uh, it's kind of a manual process, and we've got a lot of stuff to keep ourselves busy with here in the studio. So uh, apologies for anybody who has missed a portion here and there on our YouTube channel. But for the most part, it's like probably 95% complete as of the last several months. I don't even remember when we started. It was sometime in 2014. So YouTube doesn't go beyond 2014, I don't think. But it is there for you, youtube.freetalklive.com. And of course, like most things on YouTube, it's free. I guess they do have some channels where you can actually pay for things. Yeah, that's a YouTube. thing now on YouTube. Pretty yeah. cool. So, nope, but we don't ask for that. We just want you to listen and share the show, so please do that. And don't forget to do, uh, to check out freetalklive.com because, you know, if you just want to grab audio, which is the primary way people listen to Free Talk Live, we've got all kinds of archives and live streaming and all of that for free at freetalklive.com. Are you also cool with people ripping the videos and making their own? Please. In fact, I think you've done that recently, yeah. right? Yeah. Chris Cantwell's been doing that on his channel, and as far as I'm concerned... I was inspired by Chris. Yeah. He was just uh, taking clips out from some of his favorite callers and some right. of his favorite points and jokes, and then he made a little video. Which makes more sense, because no one wants to sit down and watch a three-hour YouTube video, but someone is more likely to watch a three-minute YouTube video or eight minute or five minute or something like that yeah and so yeah as far as i'm concerned uh free talk live doesn't care about intellectual property we don't believe in it so if you can take free talk lives videos and chop them up into something more entertaining that goes viral then please do and if you can make money off of it then by all means you're not going to sue people if they make a video of you looking silly or oh, saying no, wrong certainly things? not okay. no i expect that to happen actually it probably doesn't happen as often as uh, as it could Toll-free number tonight, 855-453. We're talking about introverts. We've got a list of 23 things, 23 signs that you're actually an introvert. And we'll continue on that list. But first, Katie is with us listening to WIMS in Michigan City, Indiana. Hey, Katie. Hi, guys. Hey. I have a new twist to okay. add to your program, and I love you guys. I listen every night. Oh, thanks. I'm a gregarious extrovert. Hmm. Meaning you talk a lot. Wait, excuse me. I'm a gregarious <laughs> Introvert. Like I've introvert. been drinking too much cough medicine. Uh, um, <laughs> you gotta watch out for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, so but no, I'm. Have you always been a gregarious introvert, or was that something you worked yeah, on? Always, mm. always, always. Very, very, very friendly, but I can't stand socializing. <laughs> How does that figure. make sense? It doesn't even make so sense. So, what do you talk to a wall? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I chat a lot. I just don't like social events. So, meaning that if you're in a small group of people, that would be okay? Like, you would be very, very chatty if you were to sit down and play cards with some friends or something like that? I'm I'm just very chatty. I'm mm -hmm. chatty in the marketplace. I'm chatty on the beach. I'm, oh, interesting. you know, chatty Katie. However, I do not like social events. Okay. Well, well that's, that's interesting that you view the marketplace as different from social events. Like, I, I recognize that they're different, but I hadn't realized or seen that distinction. Like, you could go to a market and ask a vendor all kinds of questions, have a conversation mm -hmm. about whatever, the product, oh, the I weather. I love it. Flea markets, huh. Walmart. I love it. I love engaging with people in the marketplace, but I can't. A social event? Forget it. So are you I'm the kind of there. person who would come up to someone in a grocery store and make a comment about the product that they're looking at? Is that Are you the, that kind oh, of person? Oh, I'll tell them they look great. I'll, huh. I'll totally engage in chat. Fascinating. Now, that's an extroverted uh, technique, right? Like, that's something that really an extrovert would do, although you could argue that being in the marketplace is, to some extent, a solitary activity, because most people don't talk to one another, you know, when they're at the store. It's, it's You're in your little bubble. Right. And and people just, they're there to do their, th they're there to get what they're there to get, or, you know, and they're, they're, they're not really too concerned. If they see someone they know, they'll acknowledge the, per oh, hey, Jim, you know, or whatever. But usually you don't talk to other people. That's something I noticed that was different about New Hampshire. When I moved here uh, from Florida, where I'd lived for 26 years of my life, people would 
talk to me at the store, and that never happened to me down in Florida. But up here, it happens. I don't. I want to say all the time, but it happens enough to where I noticed it, and I noticed it fairly quickly. And it's been something consistent. I like it. I like it when people, you know, s- just comment to one another in uh, and fr- they're friendly comments. It's not like, oh, you suck for buying that product. Oh, no, you know, I totally enjoy interacting. And and I'm a beach bomb, so I interact on the beach all the time. But like I said, if you tell me I have to go to a social event, oh, forget it. Mm. I'm not going. I'm not going to do it. Fascinating. Katie, thanks for sharing your experience <laughs> with us tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. And I think that that's part of what we were talking about earlier, where, you know, how many of these people are actually uh, mixed between the two. It's There was a, a statement on some website claiming that 50% of Americans are introverts and 50% are extroverts. But is there really a firm dividing line there? It doesn't sound like it from Katie's call. Yeah, and it sounds like a lot of people don't even know how to self-describe. Like if I were asked that question in a poll, you know, at the beginning of the show, I said extrovert. Now mm-hmm. I'm saying introvert. So it's hard to get that kind of data. Number 20 on this list, by the way, I've posted the list on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. So you can go to news.freetalklive.com and you can find this uh, link there if you want to take a look at this on your own. Number 20, you look at the big picture. This are, again, signs that you're an introvert. When describing the way introverts think, Jung explained that they're more, is it Jung? Carl Jung? Yeah, Carl Jung. Jung. He explained that they're more interested in ideas and the big picture rather than facts and details. Of course, many introverts excel in detail-oriented tasks, but they often have a mind for more abstract concepts as well. Introverts do really enjoy abstract discussion, says one of the experts. Yeah, no. and that's, that's going to tend to make them <laughs> more isolated. Number so. 21. You've been told to come out of your shell. You've been told that one, Derek J? No. Eh, me neither. Uh, many introverted children come to believe there's something wrong with them if they're naturally less outspoken and assertive than their peers. I did have a problem when I was a kid, though. I used to lie to people who oh. called called me up. You know, they'll call like you're in third grade or something like, oh, let's hang out. You know, you want to your friend. Yeah. Like friends will hang out or people from school will try and make make friends or make contacts mm-hmm. like, oh, come over. We're playing basketball or whatever. And I would lie and be like, hold on wait a minute, I'll ask my mom, and then, like, not ask her, just pause for a little bit. <sighs> oh, she said no, because, like, I wanted to be alone, you know? Like, mm-hmm. and it's not that I didn't like these people or anything, you know? They you just were, didn't they feel were like just, socializing yeah. at that moment. Yeah. That's definitely an introverted trait. And that's something <laughs> that someone would say, like, oh, just come out of your shell. But and now like, you don't even take the call. <laughs> <laughs> now you screen everything. Introverted adults often say that as children, they were told to come out of their shells or to participate more in class. Number 22, you're a writer. Introverts are often better at communicating in writing than in person, and many are down or drawn rather to the solitary, creative profession of writing. Most introverts, like Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, say they feel most creatively charged when they have time to be alone with their thoughts. Well, you and I do do writing, but more for blogs. I don't know. Does that count as being a writer? No. <laughs> I guess if you blog enough, it does. I don't know. I, I don't mind Yeah, writing. but it depends how you blog. Like, do yeah. you sit there and edit um, and make every word perfect and I don't. proofread? No. I spit I it read. out. I do proofread. I'll go through and Sometimes make sure. I don't even do that. I just I, spit I botched it out. Up, I botched it up enough to where I would not want to not proofread at least through one time just to make sure that I've gotten it right. And sometimes I'll actually read it out loud as I'm reading it just to. Just I'll let the internet me. proofread. They'll tell me where I'm wrong. Uh, that's where I come in handy because I'll, <laughs> I'll sometimes fix some errors on freekeen.com. Number 23 is you alternate between phases of work and solitude and periods of social activity. Introverts can move around their introverted set point, which determines how much they need to balance solitude with social activity. But when they move too much, possibly by overexerting themselves with too much socializing and busyness, they get stressed and they need to come back to themselves. This may manifest as going through periods of heightened social activity and then balancing it out with a period of inwardness and solitude. We'll come back with your calls and thoughts. 855-450-FREE plus open carriers arrested in Texas.
It's the end of year clearance sale at Lumber Liquidators. We'd rather sell it than count it. So every floor and every store is on sale and it all must go. Get incredible deals on first quality flooring from just 35 cents a square foot. Beautiful three quarter inch pre-finished solid hardwood is just $179. Save even more on all liquidation clearance and closeouts. If it's in stock, it's on sale and pay no interest until January 2017. Don't miss these end of year deals on over 400 floors. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Well, here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream Back Pain Cream at Walgreens. Hey, everyone. I'm having lots of fun with my new Ghost 80% AR-15. This baby shoots like a dream. Hey, thanks, Guns80.com. You know, friends ask me all the time why I wanted a Ghost AR-15. That's easy. You see, my buddy Mark kept telling me that I'd better go to Guns80.com to get myself a Ghost AR-15 before they outlawed them. I thought he was just paranoid, so I ignored him. Well, at first. But then I started hearing government media types talking about making guns illegal, about the president signing on to a U.N. treaty that could take my gun rights away. You know, it really bugged me. So I dug in, I did the research, and I realized that Mark was right all along. I know now that having an unregistered Ghost AR-15 is the right answer. I'm a proud 80% Ghost AR-15 convert. You should be, too. The answer is really simple. Get your Ghost AR-15 at guns80.com. The big sale is on. Right now, go to guns80.com. That's guns80.com. Guns80. The number's 80.com. If you're looking for work, you know the math. There are many more applicants than openings, so you need to stand out, not blend into the blah, blah, blah your interviewer is hearing from your competition. Here's a tip. In your interview, you will be judged more by the questions you ask than the answers you give. Yes, do anticipate the obvious job interview questions and prepare concise, insightful, glass half full sounding responses. And you should interview your interviewer. Seem genuinely curious about what will help get results. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. You want to cut through the clutter. For more tips for job seekers and making all the other conversations you have more productive hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of free talk live and you're still hungry for liberty oriented audio content did you know that we have another 24 7 audio stream at lrn.fm the liberty radio network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock in addition to recorded content you'll also hear live shows like free talk live originating from our keen new hampshire studio so listen anytime at lrn.fm that's lrn.fm Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. Coming up, open carriers in some hot legal trouble in Texas. Derek J. has the story on that your calls are welcome about whatever's on your mind as well. 855-450-FREE. That is the toll-free number here. We also have Skype. Skype on in at username lrn.fm. Let's go right into your phone calls and thoughts. Nick is listening in Ohio in Cleveland. Hey, Nick. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, um, sir. So I have noticed with extroverts and introverts that there's one characteristic that I see 
that tells me whether or not somebody's an extrovert or an introvert. And I think it goes to the last point that you read before the ad break, which is that extroverts love to tell stories in social situations, whereas introverts will talk, will analyze the topic. An extrovert will give you a personal story hmm. about, like, their experience as it pertains to whatever the topic is. So if you see someone at a party who is just, is just like, firing off one story after another, odds are that person's an extrovert. Um, well, that would make sense. The, I mean, the, the person who's— is true for introverts. Well, I would imagine it's also I, probably true that the person at the party who's talking more is probably more likely to be an extrovert as well. Certainly, but I'm saying to convey the same, to talk about the same topic, uh -huh. the extrovert will approach it from a personal experience standpoint where they'll mm. tell a story. The introvert is more likely to scientifically analyze it like, you know, such and so said this about it or, or such and so did this. But it, but it won't be, it won't be like, uh, well, I ran into a girl last week that did this. So like an extrovert would this. be more likely to talk about their experience, whereas an introvert would be likely to talk about what they've read or what they've heard or something like that? Yeah, right. Exactly like that. Yeah. I, I just noticed this because I, like my brother is a textbook introvert, extrovert, and I'm like a textbook introvert. Oh. And this is just the way that sort of the two of us approach it. I mean, it's not... It's not so, a scientific analysis. So there's or anything, an there's but. an example, right? Like, because we were asking the question earlier, is this something that is, you're born with, or is it something that you learn? And you're you've got a brother. How many years difference between the two of you? You know, we got seven years difference, so it, yeah. it's possible there's an environmental difference there for sure. I wonder about twins. I wonder if twins have ever been looked at for extroversion Ooh. and introversion. Not yeah, I don't know. know. And the other question you asked about whether or not you can go from one to the other, I've mm -hmm. never seen an extrovert become an introvert, but I have seen introverted people who can at least fake being extroverted really, really well. You think that's because it's more um, socially acceptable to be an extrovert? Probably. I, I think so. And also, like, an introvert is more likely to analyze the situation and figure out what they're doing wrong and then try to fix it if there's social pressure to become an extrovert, whereas an extrovert, by nature, doesn't doesn't aspire to be an introvert because they gain energy from other people mm. and there's no societal pressure to be an introvert so they they don't mm -hmm. you know the introvert is more likely to work on themselves and self-analyze than the extrovert is let me ask you this nick um, were your parents situation the same for you and your older brother um no it actually wasn't that different I, i'm you know there's a good chance that there was an environmental component yeah because for example like my older brother was raised with two parents in the home and i was raised with a single single parent home so like i would wonder he's more extroverted i'm more introverted i wonder if that has any effect on you oh well that that certainly could be i mean it, it wasn't that way with me but certainly the employment situation for my father was much different between the two times hmm. so i don't know if that what about toys anything to do with it I asked but, Jupiter earlier what kind of toys she played with. She said Barbies. What about you? Did you play with social toys or play with, like, blocks and Legos alone? Oh, oh yeah, just only, like, Lincoln Logs and Legos. Yeah, with you know? others or just by yourself? Um, you know, you know I if I had friends over, we would do other things, but typically it would, uh, it would always be some sort of cons nerdy construction toy or something, like oh. never... I mean, I don't know, but what social toys do boys play with? Like, you mean G.I. Joe or something? They, yeah, I mean, they I play, like, like, King of the Mountain, or they'll play War, Cops mm -hmm. and Robbers. King of the Mountain was always fun. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I'd do that, but only if there was an extrovert who was sort of leading the way. Yeah, yeah you, you know, were like, riding his extrovert bubble. Uh... <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay, if so do you think you become more extroverted? Who's telling us all to play Ghost in the Graveyard or whatever, then I go do that. Do you do you feel but, like you become more extroverted over time? Has that been something you've tried to do, or are you still pretty extreme introvert? Um, I mean, I have, yeah, just because it's. I feel like you absolutely have to to survive. That's what the other lady the, who was calling earlier said. I don't know. Obviously, you don't have to to survive because there's plenty of people out there who are pretty extreme introverts, right? And they're still eating. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be. You know, if you want to have a reasonable life, I, f I feel, and, and you're not gifted at something, mm. you know, I think, like, Albert Einstein could afford to be an introvert. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think if you want to just be an average Joe, <laughs> you have to have a certain level of social ability if you want to get anywhere in life. Like, 
It's probably <clears throat> true. Nick, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. So I did a quick Google here, uh, twins and introversion. Hmm. The first well, the first link is the only one I've had a chance to look at, and there's not there's not much here. It's just kind of a personal story from someone. So it's an anecdote, it's yeah. not a study. Uh, the person writes being a twin myself, I have often looked at the ways in which you respond to certain stimuli. In my teen years, my brother was often the popular person and an extreme extrovert. And me being an introvert, I often watched his behavior around people and he would take notes. And this is pretty brutally written, so I'm trying to make it as understandable as possible. And just bask in their glory, so to speak. He would revel in the fact that he's the it guy now before someone makes a post but force it's just a run on, ongoing run on sentence someone's <laughs> jealous me and my brother have a very close relationship and often ask if anything's wrong but being the introvert of the family i was always classed as strange or weird whatever really but i've been looking into the whole introvert extrovert in twins and haven't found much i was wondering if someone could look into it for me as well as an extra set of eyes on the subject so this guy's saying that he's a twin he had an extroverted brother he's an introvert and then looking down through the rest of the thread there really isn't much help that's given to this guy so I've observed, I have two younger sisters who are twins, mm -hmm. and they're fraternal twins, so they're not identical, they don't share the same genes, so this could be a genetic thing, but one is very in, uh, extroverted, one is very introverted. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they both have the same parents, same upbringing, same everything. Right. Um, so you same would, age, too. Yeah, so you would, yeah. Th yeah, exactly. You would think if it were environmental, then they would both turn out the same. So mm -hmm. it seems genetic to me. It does seem that way. You're welcome to share your thoughts here. The toll-free number is 855-453-SKYPE-US Skype us at Skype username LRN.FM, which is what Liberty Phoenix has done in Illinois. Hello, Liberty Phoenix. Good evening, gentlemen. I was hanging out in the chat room, which the listeners can join if they head over to LRN.FM. That's right. It's right there on the front page. And it's a great place. There's a lot of intelligent people. I love talking to people in there. And one of my favorite people in there, Mr. Kickstart, he had a question for Derek J., which he so adeptly avoided a answering um, so I had to call in and call you on it, Derek. Um, well, you know asked, Derek's not reading the chat the entire time he's on the air, right? Like, yeah, I well, do my best, but I can't, I can't follow everything. <laughs> Absolutely, I know. Um, but the question posed was, would you wear your clothes badly and expect other people to fix them for you? How come you're sloppy about your writing? Oh, that's an Ooh, interesting one. Because <laughs> you are always well presented, Derek J. You are always looking sharp. You've always got a nice shirt on and well Thank groomed. Thank you. I guess it's because I feel like my, my writing can carry its own on a cursory attempt. Okay. I, my, my response was that I, I actually came out in defense of you. I, I said, well, it's got to be a value judgment because obviously you would value your physical image greater than you would your writing image, I would, I would, I would say. Putting it upon the Internet to do your, um, your proofreading and so forth. It's not like I'm a terrible writer, so it's not like I put stuff out there and then get embarrassed every day. It's most I don't know. Common... That other article you wrote the other day was horrible. Run-on sentences and no punctuation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you're being facetious, that's, obviously. That's just your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot, guys. Phoenix, any comments on introversion? Um, you know, I've always kind of considered myself an introvert. Um, which I guess would attribute to why I've been so gung-ho on trying to figure out and fix my own issues without having to utilize uh, medication or spend thousands of dollars in therapy. Hmm. So I mean, I guess you know, being an introvert, it does afford you that time to you know, uh, get a, a laser-like focus on what issues you have within yourself. But there's also always that risk of losing yourself in that in that focus. You know, it makes me wonder what the chat room would have to say. I don't know how many people are in there at the moment. Usually a lot. several. Um, do you think the average internet chatter is an introvert? Because, but at the same, yes. I mean, chatting's not really an extroverted activity because you are essentially behind your computer screen. You don't, you're not having real social interaction with, uh, with somebody. I wonder what percentage of the, uh, the chatters would consider themselves to be introverts. A hundred percent. Basement dwellers. <laughs> oh, I take great offense to that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the first floor. Thanks for the call tonight, Liberty Phoenix. We appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Actually, I, I think he's moving to New Hampshire this year. Yes! Liberty Phoenix, which is very exciting. Uh, we'll come back with more. Hour number three is on the way. Texas, open carry. 
It's illegal to open carry some firearms in Texas, and some people are willing to do something about it. They've gotten arrested. It's Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, January 5th, 2015. Silver is trading at $15.97 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,192 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $274. Antiwar.com reports Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says his government is studying with Jordanian diplomats the possibility of again submitting the statehood resolution, which failed to pass last week, for a new vote. Abbas insisted, we did not fail, the UN Security Council failed us, saying he might go for a third or even a fourth vote on the resolution, which calls for an end to the Israeli occupation by 2017. The vote last Tuesday was 8-2 to two in favor, one short of the nine votes needed. Five nations abstained, with Nigeria by far the most likely to vote in favor of Palestinian statehood. Even if a future version of the resolution does pass, it is likely the U.S. will veto it as they did Tuesday. Israel has lobbied heavily for vetoes and Secretary of State John Kerry reportedly threatened to sanction the Palestinians for even submitting the resolution the first time. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports Afghan President Ashraf Ghani said in an interview broadcast on Sunday that the United States might want to re-examine the timetable for removing the remaining U.S.-led coalition troops in the country by the end of 2016. Ghani told the CBS program 60 Minutes when asked about the issue, Deadlines concentrate the mind, but deadlines should not be dogmas. If both parties, or in this case multiple partners, have done their best to achieve the objectives and progress is very real, then there should be willingness to re-examine a deadline. When asked if he had told that to President Barack Obama, Ghani said, 
President Obama knows me. We don't need to tell each other. The White House National Security Council, the State Department, and Pentagon had no immediate comment. Afghanistan assumed full responsibility on Thursday for security from departing foreign combat troops in a test of the readiness of 350,000 Afghan forces who will bear responsibility for fighting Taliban insurgents. The U.S.-led coalition troops formally ended their combat mission more than 13 years after the Taliban government was toppled in late 2001 for sheltering the planners of the September 11, 2001 attacks. About 13,000 foreign troops, mostly Americans, will remain in the country under a two-year mission named Resolute Support to train Afghan troops. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports North Korea condemned a new set of UN sanctions Sunday, calling them hostile and inflammatory. The state-run Korean Central News Agency quoted an Interior Ministry spokesman for the country who said tightened sanctions announced Friday by President Barack Obama were based on a pre-existing adversarial attitude towards the communist nation saying the policy persistently pursued by the U.S. to stifle the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, groundlessly stirring up bad blood towards it, would only harden its will and resolution to defend the sovereignty of the country. The persistent and unilateral action taken by the White House to slap sanctions against the DPRK patently proves that it is still not away from inveterate repugnancy and hostility towards the DPRK. The new sanctions are in response to the hack on Sony, which North Korea had previously praised but denied any involvement with. The breach exposed emails from company leaders and resulted in a brief cancellation of the movie The Interview. North Korea offered to conduct a joint investigation into the incident, but the U.S. refused. Obama called North Korea's actions provocative, destabilizing, and repressive, and a threat to national security. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A fully leveled up video game character marvels at how far he's come, and the milk rushing through a jug handle is having the time of its life. This is the Onion Week in Review. This week, top executives from the U.S. financial sector announce they're about ready to ruin the world again. Representatives from all major banking and investment institutions said that more than enough time has passed since they last caused a major global economic meltdown and confirmed they're pretty much fully prepared to bring about a brand new worldwide financial crisis. We feel like we've given people enough time to get comfortable again. Consumer spending has increased. Housing market has rebounded. So yeah, we're all set to go ahead and ruin the global economy again. And in other news, the perfect gift for a local man is unfortunately a gift certificate to Lowe's Cinemas. Mall shoppers look on in awe as a helpless 15-year-old girl is viciously torn apart by a pack of her peers. And a drunk pilot decides to pull over onto a cloud until he sobers up. You will now hear three gong strikes and a recitation of the great chant before being ushered to the hallowed garden. For more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. Talk live, dial toll free, and bring up what you want right here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, it's Ian and Derek J. And you can join us right here on the airwaves by dialing in toll free at 855 450 free or joining us on Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. For those of you just tuning in, you may hear some commentary this hour regarding uh, an article that we spent the bulk of the show on here tonight, uh, which is 23 Signs You're Secretly an Introvert from HuffingtonPost.com. I thought it was an interesting list. Most of it was was pretty interesting. I didn't actually keep track of how many of them applied to me, but it probably at least half of them, I would say. I mean, just kind of recalling generally how I felt about it. There are actually people on our Facebook page who are saying they got 23 or 22 out of 23 of them, like that they're total introverts. Wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, cause some of them I couldn't, some of them I couldn't really identify with, but many of them I absolutely could. Okay. Well, maybe I, um, maybe there, this author is more accurate than I thought. You know, originally oh, right. I thought that they were just trying to write it so that it sounds like, sounds good. Like, oh, an introvert is wise. <laughs> so everyone wants to be wise. But if someone felt like they can relate to 23 out of 23, 
maybe there's more to this than I thought. Let's go to Josh. He's in Seattle. You're on Free Talk Live. And then coming up, open carriers in Texas arrested. We'll tell you more about that. Josh, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Hey, gang. Love the show, guys. Hey, what's happening? First time caller. Go ahead. Uh, your thoughts. Yeah. Um, you know, when that lady called about the gregarious um, introvert, it kind of read uh, true to me, you know. Uh, I, I find that exactly the case here, man. Like, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 oh no, you're you're breaking up, and we can't understand a word that you're saying. So I'm hoping that you'll find a clear cell here, and when you talk next, we'll be able to hear you. Go ahead, try again. Oh no, it was it even got even worse. He hung up. I don't imagine he hung up. I think the cell phone network hung hung up. Hopefully, Josh, you will call us back and be able to express yourself because. I don't know where you're going with that. Sounds like he's the gregarious type. He was the one Maybe. he was relating to this this woman who called earlier. Maybe, but he barely got a, a two words out. So we'll hope to hear back from Josh. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Meantime, we've got James in Arizona. You're on oh, Free no. Talk Live. Hello, James. Yes, yeah, speaking the liars. Oh, my goodness. That is awfully loud, James. Just going to turn you down for a moment. I think your microphone might be a little bit too hot, or maybe you're a little too close to it. Try that again. Nothing's changed. Maybe the volume. For what other reason, okay. I don't care. Right, yeah, then. Skype well, usually has its okay, own adjustment. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Speaking of the Liars-Briggs study that you've been discussing, I've always fancied you two just a libertine, progressive, intro-perverted uh, uh, phonies, if you ask me. Okay. And, uh, also, like smear what could people. be phony about Derek J? I mean, he's always uh, put himself out there. I feel like he's honestly who he oh. is, and you know, he's. He's honest he about that. Support the umpire. If he doesn't support the empire, but he still chooses to live in it, I support the authorities that be to deny the little sissy a so-called right to bear arms because I can name many reasons why I don't think you should ever carry a gun around, nor are you under any threat from anybody. In oh, well, he has the right to carry really? a gun. He just can't carry it in turn inside his shirt. He can't conceal right. it, according to the judge. I don't either. I just and I agree with the judge that he doesn't have the right to do the other. Oh, you're but such I mean, a libertarian, James. Derek, Derek Gay, you like to make smears about me and say that I'm not Christian, and you even called me a misogynist minister because I make fun of your 12 year old girlfriend for uh, living. Yeah, my girlfriend's not 12 years old. That's I know. What, how was she when you started living with her? That's none of your business. Anyway, go ahead with your thoughts. Hey, that's, then I will. Speaking of some garbage podcast that I wanted to talk to you about last night before I got hung up on, speaking of relationships, it was very interesting to me that you literally, it was actually 20 minutes of boredom that you, you discussed Chris Cantwell with Chris Cantwell about relationships, but you never once mentioned the woman or the lady or the girl that you live with. Uh, I thought that was kind of ironic because I, if I had been Chris Cantwell, I, should, I certainly would have loved to ask you about the girl you live with that most people in Keene would be mightily offended, not to mention if Jesus were here, Derek Gay, a guy living in sin with a girl, a 30-something-year-old man. <laughs> uh, that's disgusting. Living in sin. You're oh so my. angry. Yeah, I just wonder, like... oh, you say, Have you ever read the Bible? You said you were a Christian once, Derek Gay. Yeah, so, I, so... I read the Bible. I was, I was a Bible thumper, believe it or not. I was a hardcore evangelist. So we're not. Because if you think that Jesus would be nice to either one of you for the disgusting things you go around town doing to people that aren't right, that are absolutely wrong and disrespectful, and uh, I, you're a part of a clan. You're a part of a cult, Derek Gay. Eh? And if you think <laughs> this would be yeah, nice— Yeah, I think you, Jesus would be pretty nice. I mean, based on my understanding of Jesus, he was kind of a you know supposed to be this loving guy who uh, hung out with prostitutes, and you know he would talk to people um, you know that he didn't necessarily agree with, right? Ian, he didn't celebrate their livelihood of being a prostitute. He told them to stop doing it. Yeah. You never do that, Derek Gay. Eh? And no. I don't care that you— Male seeking male. I don't give a rat's ass about that. But you're not a good person. How progressive back, of you? Back up the part about me being uh, not a good Christian, Derek. Why are you so me... upset, James? Can we just relax? I... What, what 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 relaxes you? One thing I alcohol. <laughs> I haven't had any alcohol today, and I haven't had any in three days because I don't. Apparently, you think that I drink all the time. That's I don't why think I'm that. Angry. I don't know anything about you, James. All I know is you got a couple DUIs on your rap sheet. 
have won, and I haven't gone and looked at your rap sheet nor anybody else's. And yeah, I made the biggest mistake in my life. I went out to a bar that I was invited to, and I didn't want to go out, and it was on the other side of town, and I got liquored up for free for two hours. And yeah, I was drunk when I left, and yeah. I got pulled over. We all yeah, made mistakes. Sorry that happened. Yeah. And but back up, back up that not that Christian thing. By the way, again, who's doxing me on the online? By the way, which one of your call? I don't know. You've got me so it? tense. Your the way your voice of, is, I'm like freaking out sissy. right now. Because you're a little. Can sissy. we calm it's, down? It was one of the listeners who was uh, who was doxing you, James. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. James is really yeah. upset. He's very judgmental. He seems to not really like you very much, Derek J. No. But I don't know why. I, I mean, know. you're so likable. I mean, his who doesn't energy like level. Derek I don't know. His you're the only person. Level's crazy though, and um, you've you've got me all shaking now. I hear your okay. voice shaking. Let's back it up a little, Derek Gay. When you used to talk to me straight up and not be a judgmental and didn't lie to your audience and smear me, we got along just fine, didn't we, Derek Gay? Because you never heard me talk like this to you on your other show before you banned me because Did I break your heart? (laughs) You're a little sis and a liar. Thanks for the call. All right, that's enough of that. Toll free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. I have to say, Derek, you handle that uh, very, very well. You know, I just want to all get along, and he... <laughs> he doesn't want to get along, no. Not yet. Okay. Maybe one day, because he keeps calling in. He's got something. Like, I used to work for a crisis helpline, mm-hmm. and they say that if somebody calls, they're at least thinking at some level, you know, that they're, they've, they they've gotten to a, a point where, yeah, they're, they're asking for help. And I just wonder, what is he looking for? He's reaching out. Yeah, is yeah. he reaching out, and what is, what is he looking for? Like, some kind of acceptance, some sign of um camaraderie i don't know what he really wants or or maybe just to be right or to tear a hero down i don't know he, he seems to like knocking you yeah, but he, he likes your show he I calls it, it. Yeah. yeah so i don't know what's he want he's not going to tell us no <laughs> he wants to insult us the toll free number is 855 450 free 855-450-3733. So we were talking about the uh, being an introvert. If you'd like to comment on that, you're still welcome to do so at any point. Also, we still have to talk about the situation in Texas. People have been arrested. And uh, this was, was this an, a civil disobedience event, Derek J? What, what yeah. happened and where did it go down? Well, in Texas, in Arlington, uh, the article from TheBlaze.com begins, Politics makes strange bedfellows, and so does political resistance. Texas open carry advocates are taking a page out of the Black Panthers playbook as cop watchers follow police around wielding cameras and guns. The Daily Beast reported, Libertarian-leaning open carry advocates in Arlington, Texas, operate a loose sort of alliance, staking out DUI checkpoints and following leads from police scanner chatter to observe the police in action and assert their legal rights. A lot of what we do here in Keene. This sounds a lot like Cop Block, not Cop Watch, but uh, I guess Cop Watch could still be doing things like that as well. You don't hear about Cop Watch very often. They're still out there, though. Well, this week, some advocates got arrested. I want to find out more about that. We'll get the details, and you can share your thoughts, especially if you've been in a similar situation. Have you been, uh, you know, cop-watching or cop-blocking with an open-carried firearm? How'd that go for you? It's Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. When the Civil War ended, victorious Union leaders took the opportunity to change the Constitution in three dramatic ways. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery. The 15th made former slaves voters, and the 14th halted the ability of states to diminish individual rights. Formerly, state governments were able to violate individual rights because the Bill of Rights didn't apply to them. The 14th Amendment gave Americans a new federal guarantee. No state could abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens or deprive them of life, liberty, or property without due process or deny them equal protection of the laws. If states now tried to tyrannize citizens as they had done to slaves and white abolitionists, the federal government could intervene. The Civil War amendments completed the promise that all men are created equal with certain inalienable rights. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. 
Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Talk Live. We've had people call this show in the past and posit that the declaration of a national emergency essentially opens up all of the loopholes that they can utilize that have been built into the Constitution. Because as Lysander Spooner would put it, the Constitution has either been powerless to prevent this big tyrannical government that we have today. Sure, or a government has- far beyond the scope that our founders ever, ever, even in their the wildest dreams imagined. Or it has authorized the government that we have today. I can only so, assume that that's true. I mean, I used the to latter? be this. I can only the- assume that it's the Constitution that in fact authorizes all of this crap that I thought at one point was unconstitutional. And we are, as I stated, still under a level of martial law that's uh, that, that was that was uh, declared for the Civil War. Everything they're doing is legal, as far as I can tell. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Tollhouse Morsels, helping you create special moments and memories your family will cherish forever. Visit us at tollhouse.com. You may bake for birthdays and holidays, but why stop there? Sweeten up the rest of the year by designating monthly dessert days. Treat your family to one of their favorites or surprise them with something new. Either way, you'll create a tradition everyone will love. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, even if it's just to sling some insults against the host of the show. You can certainly do that, too. Um, Though it's not the most interesting radio, we'll let you do it. Uh, You can bring up anything here. That's the point of Free Talk Live. You can also join us online at freetalklive.com. we got lots of features on our website, including a mobile site. For those of you with smartphones, you can go to m.freetalklive.com. That's m as in mobile.freetalklive.com. You'll find links there to our streams, our live streams, as well as the podcast. So it's an easy way when you're on your phone to get quick access to tune in to Free Talk Live. That's m.freetalklive.com as we go to your phone calls and thoughts. More on the Texas open carry arrests here in a moment. But first, we've got Steve. He's in Tallahassee listening to WVFT. Hey, Steve. Hey, how you doing, Ian? Welcome. You're on the air. All right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to get an opportunity to throw some verbal mud at you. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, <laughs> and that guy was really, really angry, um, and I do not understand it. Um, yeah, and I'm he calls Christian. back <laughs> over and over, like he's calling back right now. <laughs> uh, like on Skype, you can see the person calling, right, whenever they're calling. And so, yeah, 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 and you're like, I know that guy. You yeah, know, and he like, calls over something. and over again after he gets off the air. <laughs> he calls every night, so it's not like he doesn't have a chance to get his thoughts out on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I, knew, I know. I mean, he's got to know you have a one call rule for night, you know. He does. Uh, yeah. but he just wanted to harass you, but uh, man, I mean, uh, that's you know, love thy neighbor. That's pretty far off the mark there. But uh, yeah, he doesn't really sound like uh, like a Christian, does he? Like he claims to be a Christian, but uh, there's not a whole lot of love no. coming out of James. No, you can disagree with somebody all you want, but you know, 
I mean, I can disagree with people, but I don't want to, I'm not going to force them into anything. I mean, I, I'm over the years, I've moved more and more in a libertarian movement, you know, more and more that direction. Sure. Um, you know, from just a conventional conservative to, to going, man, these guys are really messed up. But, uh, the one hang up, and I wanted to ask you about this, and, and I, you kind of answered the question by getting James on the phone is you got a lot of angry people saying they're Christians calling in. Um, uh, and I wanted to frankly ask, like, it sounds so often, omit James from this conversation, uh, it sounds so often that uh, you, you guys seem to be uh, really negatively canted towards Christianity. Is there a specific reason for that other than James? And angry people like that. Um, <laughs> well, is, people like you know, James uh, are the, the worst uh, examples of Christians. I mean, they're, to be Christ, Christian is to, supposed to be being Christ-like, and I don't see a lot yeah. of that out of the people who call themselves Christians. I, I mean, that's my answer, yeah. but Derek J., go ahead. I'm against Christianity because it's anti-rational, and I feel I was lied to. I was raised a Christian. Okay. I'm not against Christians, though. Like, uh, I, I don't have a problem with. There are a number of Christians in the liberty movement. For instance, uh, Varen Swearingen, who was the president of the Free State Project for a number of years. He's a very nice. Right. He's a very nice guy. I, I happen to like him very much, and we, you know, we can interact just fine. And there have been others who are who are like him that they're very very devout Christians. But I've never once felt pressured from Varen. I've never felt like. You have to join or you will burn in hell. Like, I'm sure that's what he believes, but he's never, you know, come right out and like bashed sure. anybody over the head with that. And I, I find that the pushiness of many Christians is very off putting. And I used to be a Christian as well, by the way. I, I went to Christian camp uh, years of my life. I was actually one of the sort of, I never yeah. got to the, the level of camp counselor, but I could have been had I kept going in that direction. Uh, but I was, you know, like washing dishes at the camp and. Did you of, sing church songs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure I, can, I can sing right. some camp yeah. songs. With the best of them but uh, so you know it's not to say i don't have experience i do i've got experience you know in the christian world and, and knowing christians and, sure. and knowing how many christians are so unlike wasn't it gandhi i think who said something like you know your christians are so unlike I, your christ i like your christ but i do not like your christians yeah so i think that's the uh, that's took, the issue took with the, me took the quote right off my tip of my tongue the uh yeah and you're right it is it's not rational you know uh, it's definitely a faith involved not a not not, not a rational thought but Anyways, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Today. I love the show, and um, just keep keep doing it, man. I'm Thanks, getting Steve. closer and closer that way. I just yeah. Well, absolutely. anybody who really sits down and thinks about the issues would likely go in a more liberty-minded direction. I think over time, just because the Republicans and Democrats are so obviously transparent to anyone who takes the time to really look at things. And, uh, and I appreciate yeah. you taking that time, and thanks yep. for your call tonight, Steve. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I get along fine with, with good Christians. I, like, I, I, I separate Christians into two categories. The good Christians who actually try to emulate Christ and you know, try to be loving towards people who they don't agree with necessarily. And then people like James who are just you know, on high, you know, high mountain looking down and shooting barbs at everybody who they disagree with and being rude and being nasty and you know, telling somebody they're going to hell because of their behavior and just being just very off-putting is well, how I feel about that. I think there are lots of different kinds of religious people, but I kind of cut it this way. I say there are culturally religious people and uh, then those who are just like dogmatically religious. And, and the, the difference would be a culturally religious person could be born to any family on any part of the planet and they believe in sharing, being good to your neighbor, and uh, you know just uh, doing what you say, being honest, these types of things. Then the dogmatic religious believe in you know tithing or uh, certain rituals. And I've always had a place in my heart for the culturally religious because they don't really care what's in their Bible. They can pick and choose about their dogma. But what's important to them is being a good person and being mm -hmm. a good neighbor. And like, if you want to call that religion, great. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, well, but even somebody who has a dogmatic— about being a good person. Anybody, even people who have a very stringent belief system can still be good people. Sure, but right? then they fall down the, the bad path of being like, if you s strictly adhere to dogma, you're going to have to deal with bad writings in the Bible, like it's Leviticus. True. It's and not as thoughtful. You can't be like, oh, well, you know, we should be good to our neighbors, but also stone the gays. I mean, that's— Yeah, that's no good. It's not compatible. Right. No, I, I, sh I share uh, where you're—I can, I can understand where you're coming from there. I guess I just— 
you know, if somebody's got a dogmatic viewpoint that is more understanding and allowing, then that's fine with me. Like, I'd, I'm not judgmental towards that. Whatever it is that makes somebody happy, I don't care. You know, if, like if if adhering to a certain stricture, set of strictures in your life is very important to you, whether it's not imbibing an alcohol or, or whatever it is the rules are that you're following, you don't eat um, pigs, uh, that kind of thing, whatever rules, arbitrary rules have been handed down by another man, by the way, which is where all these things come from, um, th that's fine. You know, so long as you're not forcing it on me, it doesn't bother me. Like Davi Barker, I mean, he's a Muslim. He's not going to eat certain things due to, you know, what the, the Muslim religion believes. But I think he's a wonderful guy who I get along splendidly with. Yeah, good and, point. Yeah, so... Uh, let's, I judge people based on how they come off and how they treat others. And if you treat others with respect and you, you care and you obviously love people, then I don't care what your religious beliefs are. But if your religious beliefs are to be discriminate, uh, discriminatory and rude and nasty, then, uh, yeah, not a fan. Well, I just limit my exposure to anyone who's dogmatically religious. And, um, you know, it just makes me uncomfortable to hear silly things be said, you know, like sky ghost talk and stuff. I don't I, I, <laughs> It just makes me uncomfortable. Well, I mean, well, right. my family talks like that. Well, but I, that's, that's that's just it. Like like I was saying with with Varen Swearingen, he doesn't talk about that stuff when you're around him, right? Like I bet if you went to Bible study with him, then you'd get to hear some of that. But uh -huh. if you're just sitting at the uh, you know the lunch table at the Liberty Forum with him here in a few months, he's not going to be talking about those things. Yeah. And so even if they have a dogmatic belief system, as long as they're keeping it to themselves, that's okay with me too. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. But some. Somebody who thinks they're better than you because they have a certain religion, that's a problem. We're coming up. You take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live at 855-450-FREE. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now. Because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-881-1075. That's 1-800-881-1075. Call 1-800-881-1075. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Do you need access to money? 
Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You dial toll free. Take control of the airwaves. 855 450 free. Did you know we've got an email list? Well, you can join that by going to freetalklive.com. I know, it's old school, right? Email. Who does email anymore? Well, actually, a lot of people still do email, and it's still a good way to make sure something gets in front of you. Because if you're on Facebook and you're liking our, our page on Facebook, unless you've taken the time to hover over the like button and then select get notifications, you're probably only seeing like... 2% or 10% at the most of what we actually post to Facebook. And the email list is more important stuff about Free Talk Live. Like the Facebook page is good, but we also post all our show prep there and other stuff during the daytime. But if you want to get less often, uh, less contacts from Free Talk Live, fewer contacts, I guess is more accurate, uh, fewer contacts, and you also want them to be more relevant to the show, then the email list is the best place to do that. So go and get signed up. Go to freetalklive.com. Look in the left-hand column. You'll see the sign-up box there for the email list. Just drop your email address in there, and you'll get updates from Free Talk Live on new radio stations that we get on board and our weekly digest that comes out uh, that kind of goes over some of the the most voted on stuff as submitted by you to our website at freetalklive.com. So Again, that's where you go to get signed up for the email list. Basically, anything important to the show, any important show-related stuff, uh, usually goes out to the email list first. So go to freetalklive.com. Look on the left-hand side for that email sign-up box. As we continue here, your calls and thoughts are welcome. Let's go first to Travis, listening in West Virginia to WVTS. Hey, Travis. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, sir. What's on your mind tonight? Great. Um, I'm just happen to tune in. I'm actually just riding through West Virginia right now and um, just tuned in as you guys were commenting about uh, Christianity and how you guys kind of grew up in around the Christian environment and, and now you kind of moved away from that and just wanted to respond to some of the things you guys were saying if I could. Please. Um, have you ever, maybe just by clarity, um, have you ever had maybe someone think something about you or say something about you that wasn't necessarily true and then someone believed it? Oh, all the time. <laughs> right? So that was a bad representation of who you were, but it never really changed who you really are, mm-hmm. right? That's correct. So so if someone misrepresents you, it doesn't really change who you are. And it is true, and I agree with you guys, that for Sometimes that as Christians, we do misrepresent who Christ is, but that in no way changes who he is. Who is he? Um, and, what, and he is the Son of God. He is our Savior, and he is the only way to really have a relationship with God. Well, and that's also, that's your opinion, like say, and you're certainly well, welcome it, to have it. I disagree. I mean, as a panentheist, I think that uh, everybody has a relationship with God, and I think that we're all interconnected with God. So, I mean, I just have a completely different belief system, and, you know, yours is based absolutely. on what you were told, and, and that's fine. It just I, Well, you guys were told the same thing, but you don't believe it. So, well, I, couldn't I would prove challenge it. you to, well, I would challenge you to, I couldn't prove it at first either. But oh, but was, now you have proof? Was, absolutely. You know the proof that I have? I'm waiting. The proof that I have, the proof that I have is the same proof that you would have if I was to tell you, um, hey guys, I went to this restaurant yesterday and the food is delicious. 
And you would say, really? And I would say, yes, I tried it, and I know that it's delicious. Now, you could believe me at my word and walk away and say, hey, yeah, Travis said he has some great food. Or you could actually go to the same. Oh, uh-huh. no. Uh-oh, Travis, we're lo- I think we're losing you, your cell phone. I think what he was saying, though, is that, uh, you know, you could go and find out for yourself and try the same restaurant, maybe suggesting he, he did drop off the line, uh, maybe suggesting the same thing for a religion, that you could try Christianity. But you've already tried Christianity, right, Derek J., and it wasn't for you. Uh, yeah, it's not just that it wasn't for me. It's that I couldn't prove the things that I was I was being told and the things that I was telling other people. Because like can't I mentioned, prove it either. I was becoming evangelistic. I was telling other people that these things were true, and then when mm. they would come back at me and say, "Well, how do you know?" I didn't have any evidence. Well, for that. that's what my pastor told me. That's what my mom and dad told me. That's not good enough. (laughs) I mean, that's anecdotal. He's talking about a restaurant and food being delicious, but we know what food is, and we have a concept of being delicious. But when people talk about God and God exists, to me, he couldn't define what God is. That's Mm -hmm. always a problem. If you can't define something, but you're saying it exists, well... Well, that's how do you define God? I mean, beyond the idea of it's a something that's greater than yourself, right? Like, you know, but there are a lot of things that are greater than ourselves, true. and we can point to those examples. Um, when people are describing God, they usually the describe it as being. yeah, they describe God as everything that is not existence, and that's a problem too. So if you're like, oh, it's uh, it's a spirit, um, it's. <laughs> You know, it's it's everything that is not existence as we know it. So. Which is one way to define God, but that's not the way I would define it, right? Because as a panentheist, I think that everything that exists is God and everything that doesn't exist. So the metaphysical and the physical, it's all God. Yeah, I guess that would be the one exception then, isn't it? <laughs> Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We got a full board of calls here. Let's go to them and talk to Jim in Phoenix. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jim. Well, Anytime you'll pose those questions again, Derek Gay, I'll be uh, happy you know, to answer. We have a one-call-per-night policy on the show, and we you know, ask people to respect that policy. Let's move on. Tim is listening in Albuquerque. You're on Free Talk Live. Tim, listening to Kiva. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey. Go ahead with your thoughts. Um, well, I was just wanted to express my thoughts on, on religion. Yes. Because, first of all, my, my first thought is, like, to me, they're all a bunch of books, if you think about it. And, and to me, it's more like an over-glorified book club. But me, I, I, I still have my faith. Keep that in mind. Okay. What and, is your, what uh, is your like, faith? Like, well, like, see, I've read a lot of these books, but I had to go out and have my own experience. And, and like you were talking with that earlier caller about, like, what is God? I felt like a lot of the time that that it is everything, and that's one thing like I really respect with the uh, DMT and ayahuasca and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. Is is it helps you experience what what that true definition is? Yeah, I think I, I agree with you uh, on that point. I although... do not, <laughs> and I've <laughs> experienced DMT as well. I, I can see what you're saying, but that doesn't prove God or prove anything. Oh no, no, yeah, I, totally. It's it's. Also, a mix of psychology, I feel like, because a lot of people come from different backgrounds and different sets, and it, and I feel like it's that. And um, one of the points I wanted to comment on earlier, also, that you had on your show is uh, you are talking about people who get on this high horse about religion, mm-hmm. and, and I'm like, <laughs> I have had some good friends who, like, have gotten on that high horse. But usually, I'll just read whatever book that they're reading or whatever it's that they're forming these opinions off of. Because usually, a lot of the time, I find that people are reading books of So, like, they're opinions of other people's opinions, essentially. Mm-hmm. And so, like, so I'll, I'll be talking to people with, uh, like, cer- to certain religions, and, and I'll, I'll get really confused because it's another person's version of what's twisted. Because, uh, like, like you, are you familiar with, like, the New Age philosophy and everything like that, right? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, here here in New Mexico, I feel like like there's a, a really big New Age community, but nothing really defines New Age because it, it's parts of Hinduism, parts of Buddhism, some parts of Catholicism, and, and, and like some of them are thrown together, and, and, and a lot of them I've noticed are, are there are certain parts of the stories that agree with each other. Do you understand? Sure. Well, there's a, yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, having um, as a panentheist, when I read through other religious texts, I can see 
a lot of things that sort of back that up. I kind of like I, I kind of liken my viewpoint to some extent in a way to sort of being in a religious buffet. I, I like to if I'm reading through a religious book <laughs> of some sort and I see something that you know that feels right, then that's well, oh yeah that 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 looks good. So you know there's like stuff some stuff I like about Christianity, some stuff I like about being a Muslim, some stuff I like about wait a so, minute that's not how things are decided. You don't <laughs> choose whether or not something is correct based on whether or not it feels good. Why not? Because there's a correct did. and incorrect. <laughs> is there? Yeah, sure. Like f- four there's... plus four is eight, and if you say it's nine, you are incorrect. Maybe there's something correct for you, but something correct for someone else that's not necessarily correct for you. It's like your sexual preferences aren't the same as me, but they're both correct, aren't they? You can't use correct <laughs> in that context. Tim, thanks for the call tonight, man. We'll uh, come back with more here in moments. 855 450 free. You take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, first off, hope you are well. And I am. Seems like all you do is promote Geico's web and app abilities. And while I really enjoyed your last commercial where you talked about how I could take a photo of my VIN number and add it to my account all via my Geico app, I've got to think it doesn't leave you much time for anything else. Do tell. Sincerely, Miranda Morgan. Well, Miranda, thank you for asking. And this Geico spokes pig does have time to do other things. For instance, I do a lot of VIN scanning to add a car. Just to tap away on the Geico app. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial. The fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all new ancient defense herbal immunity blend crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. 
OccupyingRealEstate.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but if you don't get your call in tonight, don't worry. We do this thing seven nights per week, and we're live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time every single night. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Please enjoy the features you will find there on the site. If you like what we're doing on Free Talk Live, you don't have to be of the same religion as the hosts. In fact, you can't be because the Free Talk Live hosts have different religions or the lack thereof. Derek J., would you define yourself as an atheist? Yes, I'm a teapot agnostic or an atheist. Teapot agnostic. Yeah, that's, uh, to be precise, I can't disprove God. I can't say with certainty that there, that no God exists, so I can't mm-hmm. be an atheist. But Bertrand uh. Russell said that he was a teapot atheist in the same way that teapot agnostic or teapot, uh, teapot agnostic, cor- yes, okay. correct. Uh, in the sense that he is an agnostic to the idea that there is currently a teapot sitting in the rings of Saturn. So it's because he doesn't know. It's very unlikely mm-hmm. that there is a teapot in the rings of Saturn. Could be. Could be. He can't. Unlikely. He can't prove there's not. Right. But he's pretty certain there's not. Okay. I'm an agnostic in that sense toward God. Okay. Fair enough. I'm pretty certain. As certain as I can be. I just can't prove it. We will take your calls here. 855-450-FREE. Join us on Skype at username lrn.fm. And again, if you like what we're doing on Free Talk Live, then please become an amplifier. It makes such a big difference. It's so important for you to do this. If you enjoy the show at all uh, on a regular basis and we're worth five bucks a month to you, then keep it in mind that that five dollars is not going to paychecks. It's going to promote Free Talk Live. It's going to advertise, market, and promote. That's what AMP stands for. AMP, advertise, market, promote. The idea is that five bucks gets combined with other people's five dollars and then we buy stuff like uh, radio station advertisements to reach out to program directors. Daryl is one of our affiliate relations people. He's normally on on Friday nights and he do, he's doing a great job with affiliate relations for Free Talk Live. And that means he calls radio stations and pitches the show to them. That's also something that I do as well. So we have two affiliate relations people, but I don't take payment for it. Derek, uh, Daryl does. I guess technically that does go to a paycheck, doesn't it? I don't know. It's specifically for the purpose of advertising, marketing, and promoting Free Talk Live. I guess by paycheck, I mean Mark and I don't don't see any of it. And uh, also, let's see, we uh, use some of the money to go to uh, conventions, industry conventions, to sort of schmooze it up with the big wigs in the business, as well as if our a new, a new radio station affiliates need hardware, if they need a satellite receiver, we'll buy the receiver for them just to get them on the air, to get Free Talk Live on the air. If you like the idea that Free Talk Live's on 150 radio stations, more than 150 stations, and you want to see that number go to 200, 300, 400, we can do that for five bucks a month from you. Go to amp.freetalklive.com to get signed up with any major credit card through PayPal or Visa or MasterCard right there on the site. And you get perks. You get access to the AMP only Facebook group, which is a lot of fun. Uh, also, the AMP only forum and the AMP only podcast and more. Go get the details. Get signed up, please. It makes a big difference for us. AMP. Dot freetalklive.com as we go to Al. He's in Bangor, Maine. You're on Free Talk Live. Al. The knowledge of God is in the hearts of all men and all peoples from the beginning of time. And there are two proofs. One is the creation that you can see the earth, the stars, the moon. Well, how is that proof is of God? That just just because something exists God, doesn't mean God exists. The second proof is that God punishes sin. You remember uh, a radio talk show host, Opie and Anthony? Uh, yeah, I'm, f- I'm familiar generally with the show, but I'm, I'm not really familiar as, as well, far as a listener. A, they had a prank on their show that they would go into St. Patrick's Cathedral and do something blasphemous. It was a couple. Oh, yeah, they were having sex uh, in uh, one of the... Yes. Whatever it was, the confessionals, and, and I think. Very close, <laughs> the one year to the day, the fellow was 35 years old, dropped dead of a heart attack with no prior history of heart disease. That's the second proof. Oh, wow, that's, that's proof. proof now, huh? you, say, you say that you do not believe in God. Well, I do, actually. It's Derek J. who do. does it. He does. J. does believe in him. But because of sin, huh? sin alienates us from God oh. and makes us hate, makes us hate <laughs> God. Yeah. So you're without an excuse. 
and not believe in God. There you know, are many, I mean, many. Al, as somebody who believes in God, just not your God, uh, I'm a panentheist, um, you haven't really given any proof whatsoever. I mean, I'm, well, I'm sorry, right. but the, yeah, the existence is, of something is not proof of its, uh, of the, the, the creator of it is God. Yeah, you said the knowledge right. of God is in the hearts of men, Al. Are you aware that knowledge doesn't lie in the heart? <laughs> Well, that's an absurd statement. No, well, yours and, is an absurd statement. You're trying to play tricks with language. No, I'm I'm stating you the clear truth, and you obviously you know. You know very who else well was a trickster? You. Satan. Satan's <laughs> a trickster. Not, Maybe you're an agent see, of the devil, Al. What do you see, think about you're that? making you're mocking you're mocking religion right now because of your hatred of God. No, no, no! You mistake you, you're mistaking me for Derek J. I don't hate God. I like the idea of God. I believe in God, but I will mock some religions absolutely because some religions are pretty ridiculous. Well, the ethical teaching, the proof, one of the proof of the uh, divinity of Christ are the words of Christ. <laughs> they were never his disciples said, "Where do you're laughing?" Yeah, yeah. The, like what you're saying you're is that because Christ said some stuff, therefore he's God. I mean, there are a lot of people who've claimed to be Christ. Do you believe all of them too? Listen, his disciples said, "You have the words of eternal life. To whom else should we go?" That that means that his sayings were so different and so profound, and even scholars who are not Christians realize that he came to earth, he gave mankind a teaching which was entirely different from any other religion. Well, the, the not Muslim, entirely different. It, what what did he teach that was different from any other philosopher? Entirely different. Yeah, there's actually a lot of retreads in the Christian religion, a lot of old stuff from like the pagans and things like that's been sort of repackaged. No, and, that and has, further, Al, uh, no. after Christ was uh, Muhammad who was delivered a message from, I believe, the angel Gabriel to try to clarify some of the things in the Bible. Do you also um, believe in what Muhammad was teaching? Absolutely not. Because well, why not? The ethical content, the ethical content of Muhammad's teaching is directly opposite of Christ. That's not true yeah, at all. I, said, that's not true at all. In fact, he talked a lot about Christ. True. Have you read the Quran? A little bit. I want to back thing. up for a second right. because I want to point out one quick uh, leap in logic that Al makes. He was Just saying one that, of them. Okay. Well, here's one that, that anyone can identify. Quick, relatively quickly, creation exists, therefore God exists. Was his argument? Is that right, Al? No. Oh, that okay. Was my well, understanding. It. Okay. You can see from creation that there was a creator because of the order in it. Okay. And so you're saying that things that are ordered need to be created. Uh, things which are ordered uh, are created. Yes. And when was God created? What a silly question. Well, what do you mean? You're saying he was, uh, not, cre he was not created. Well, God's orderly, right? Well, wait, wait a minute. You're saying that uh, creation exists, so it had to have been created. Well, God exists, seem, right? So that had to seem, be created, too. You seem confused, to if you allow me to speak the oh, truth. Oh, you've been speaking plenty. Thanks for the call, Al. We've got other people who want to talk. Let's go to Brandon in Detroit. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Brandon. Brandon in Detroit, going once. Brandon in Detroit, going twice. We'll put him back on hold. Maybe we'll get a chance to get back to him. Uh, we've also got Alma in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live, Alma. Hey, sweetie. Hey, All Alma. right, Ian? Yes, sir. Or ma'am. Is this Ian? Yes. All right. You know, I thought it was pretty sad that that man attacked you the way he did tonight. Oh, James? You know, I don't Yeah, yeah I think it was because my last name is that. So I do remember that name. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, we all have our own beliefs. It, everybody can have their own belief. You don't attack people for their beliefs. Right on. We all have, we're all responsible for our souls. And it's none of my business what you do with your soul. You know, I have to deal I'm with, with my soul. Everybody deals with their own soul. We don't attack other people. I've been attacked many a times because I smoke. Oh, you're going to hell because I smoke, you know? <laughs> Jeez, you're going to go to hell just for smoking? Is that a, is that one of the Ten Commandments? I thought there were no, cigarettes in not. hell. It is not. And <laughs> it, if I drink a beer, I'm going to hell too. What Didn't was the Jesus first? turn water into wine? 
what was his first miracle he he did? Exactly. He turned water into wine. His so what kind of what miracle. kind of a I know what what uh, I guess that's Baptist. Oh, Baptists are coming down on you. Okay, you you answered my question oh, before I could yeah. even spit and it out. Thank you for that. Elmore. I claim only to be a Christian now, and my my church is at my table. I've read my Bible five times. I can battle with you in my Bible any way but a lose. But battling's no fun, and that's not very nice. No, either. it says in the Bible, you do not battle over the Word of God. You walk away. There you go. And We're thank you, Alma, for it. your call tonight. I appreciate hearing I from love you. you pie. See, now that's a kind of oh, religious thing. God's going to say that again to you. I love you too, Alma. Oh thank you God. for that. Thank you. And that's the kind of religious person I can get along with. Somebody who's just loving and caring and, you know, whatever their beliefs are, that's not an issue to me. If they're not pushing them on me. And don't forget Derek J.me tomorrow or on his show, he'll talk about what he was going to talk about. <laughs> Do you drink? On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No State Project, and are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, January 5th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,189, silver at $15.77, and Bitcoin is trading around $271. Today's precious metal prices brought to you by Midas 